back, we 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 back. Actually, we not, we not shooting tonight. We not shooting tonight. No. This is shit I be talking about. Just play the thing. Another episode of. Damn. Welcome back to Regular Jobs Guest List. I got another special guest yes. here. I got to introduce myself. Comedian extraordinaire. Stephanie we Denise. We got motherfucking Stephanie Denise in the motherfucking building. Hey. Thank you so much for having me, live studio audience and job. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> you said it. you wanted somebody to clap for they're you here. when I said yeah, your name, so I had to. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? That's what we doing tonight? Yeah. We doing that tonight. Working on my auntie point and wink. You gotta do the Uzi shoulder when you do it. You gotta, you gotta add that in there with the point. And I'm saying you gotta. Yeah, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn out here in these streets. <laughs> That's it. Come on, man. What's up, man? I'm here now. Yeah, you here. We we gonna do. We doing this. We are finally. I'm this excited. Is, this is finally happening. You have been out here pop blocking and dropping it. And whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to let you know that not, I. It's am... not ever what I'm doing in life. Ever. <laughs> like in any situation. <laughs> Like, there, there will never be a situation that will ever cause for me to ever... I ain't even going to say the words together, but for me to ever do such... You out here pop-locking. Rest in peace to Huey, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, he Rest did. Rest in peace to Huey. But, yeah, there's no... It, there's still under but no circumstances. But you're doing the damn thing. I appreciate that. There's no pause. Clap it up for me, goddammit. Clap it up for me, goddammit. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm you out, are, you're doing it. I'm out here trying you know to function. You're that's doing all. It. I, that's all. I'm just trying to function out here in the world. Let me put my seat up right here. Yeah, get comfortable. I am. We're going to be here for a minute. We are. I already don't have a bra on, so we good. <laughs> don't do that. I ain't Let's talk about shit. it. I ain't said shit. Talk about you not having on a bra? No, well, yeah, I don't because, you know, I just be one to slang, hang, and gangbang. I think that's how the phrase goes to let these things out. You know, gangbang means two different things. <laughs> you're talking about. <laughs> Not with breasts. I just don't want to get. Breasts. I just don't want to get the. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to get your message misconstrued. Yeah, they, you know, they just free. Let's just say yeah, that because apparently free. a lot of a lot of shit mis gets misconstrued about you. So it do see. Thank you so much <laughs> for opening that segue, God. Yeah, that right there for the people out here in social media world and regular jobs world and everybody's world outside of knowing Stephanie Denise. I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a stud. I'm not even that. <laughs> we gotta put the record out there. Okay, that's it. Yeah. I love men. I love penis. I love masculinity. And that's it. Come on, man. <laughs> you just got a little New York nigga inside you. That's all. I don't. You think so? <laughs> when I was in the military, they used to ask me, was I from New York? Then when I say I'm from Virginia Beach, they were like, oh, you're one of those girls. Fuck you mean? Like, what does that mean? What do Virginia Beach girls give off? What is it? I don't know. You know. Nah, cause the beach girls that I dealt with ain't the beach, the the, the stereotype have, beach girls. So though. it depends on what part of the beach they from too, cause you know you got the yeah. beach and then you got the beach. And you got the beach, which is you know. Yeah. And then you got Virginia Beach. Yeah, I think I'm from Virginia. And then beach. you have the beach. I'm not from the beach. Yeah, now that's that's what the that's crackheads the, and yeah. the ocean front like. Yeah. That's, that's down there. Homelessness, crackheads, nah. the ocean front, All a lot of meth and shit down yeah, there. Nah, like, nah. yeah, that's. It's a lot of the motherfuckers that be trying to sing and go viral down there. I don't like yeah. those kind of interviewing people. people on the sidewalk and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, making us look bad. Always finding right. the girls that can't read or nothing like that. Don't know how to multiply or nothing. No, no <laughs> geography, no math. They don't know shit. Goddamn forty-seven. <laughs> but yeah, that's man. one of my favorites. But I'm from the beach. I guess you would consider me from the beach because I graduated from Green Run. Green Run, that area, yeah. right? That's the beach, right? Yeah, that's your origin, right? You yeah. Born and raised? Yeah. No, no, no. I was born in... You know what's crazy? I was born in Chesapeake. <laughs> I was born in Norfolk. Were you? Oh, that makes sense for you, too, though. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense for you. Because you do get... Even though you're light-skinned, you give dark-skinned mentality. Niggas from Norfolk is definitely dark-skinned nigga. Black DCs, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. real nice, but then at the end of the or day... Or just some slides. Yeah, then that's what you have on. You're giving Debo everywhere. vibes right now. What's up, Stanley? <laughs> that's what you get right now. Nah, so... I mean, you wear slides to let niggas know you comfortable. Yeah, but also I can fuck you up because they're easy to yeah. maneuver in. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, if you sneak it, you can't run in slides. You could slide them off so. and haul ass. <laughs> and I nah. feel like a man of your stature can run really fast. I think people probably... Fat. I don't around think so. and have an asthma attack. Big niggas can run sometimes. I mean, if, I, if I'm if i trying to get there before the motherfucking... Um, 
Before what? The the, the the free appetizer time limit up, and Don't I'm and I'm pulling Don't. up in the parking like, yeah, I can I can get. I think you can run I for can real. No, I used to be able to run. I ain't you really sprinted like that in a minute though. That is. I can swim like no, no nobody motherfucking. Swimming know, is where I don't I think live no it. nigga in my weight class can outswim me. You think so? See, I don't mean like on top of the water, like racing. From I'm talking wall about to wall. like I'm talking about form. That's and what I'm saying. Like niggas can probably beat me like speed wall to wall, mm-hmm. but like. Let's go touch the bottom of a 15 foot pool and come up. Let's, let's race, do it. Let's race to do that. Let's do See it. See niggas, niggas still got that kind of static for me. I literally just did that over the weekend at my nephew's birthday party. My best friend's 15 son. Foot? It wasn't 15, it was oh. 10. That's just, I mean, 10 feet still kind of deep. 10, steep, 10 feet is definitely deep. That shit is deep. And to not be in anybody's pool all year, actually for the last couple years, to do it. Yeah. Wow. And then I recently stopped smoking, so. Yeah. A bitch got heavy. Me too. No, you just finished smoking. Yeah, recently. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. I'm glad you're not smoking now, though, because I don't yeah. like being high, because that shit recently. touched me down. That was real recent, like really recent. I like, smelt it when I busted it. I said it. recently. Yeah, okay, you got it. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Y'all not going to clap with me? Uh, What's up? Nah, man, so yeah, let's get into this, though. So I'm ready in real life. Comedy extraordinaire. Comedy. Yeah. Stand up comedy. Yeah. You know, it ain't like, which is, you know, it's it's a different path right now. And the reason why I say it's a different path, because, you know, most people are following the, the internet comedy, which mm-hmm. is, we all love it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We got the Desi Banks of the mm-hmm. world. We got the Funny Marco. Like, we got mm-hmm. people who do the internet comedy content and mm-hmm. they killing that shit, though. Mm-hmm. But it's like, to say, nah, I'm not doing, I'm going to, I'm going the old school way. I'm going to motherfucking grind it out. I'm going to pay my dues. I'm going to hit the chitlin circuit. I'm going to hit the. <sighs> The, the 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 I'm getting to the nitty gritty of this shit. Yeah, I'm getting on that motherfucking stage. Yeah, that shit's been rough. It hasn't been rough. It's just it's been surprisingly good. Yeah, because the very first time I got on stage, it wasn't even like I wanted to just do it to be like this. When I yeah. got on stage and I had my very first show, which was almost two years ago, the anniversary date is what September twenty fifth. Yeah, it'll be two years. I did, I started stand-up comedy just because I went skydiving. Yeah. In real life. And I, I remember the videos. I was... Yeah. Me, black. Yeah, <laughs> I turned that phone call down. He called you? I turned Why didn't you fucking down. come jump? What? Why? Nah. So you don't like heights? You afraid of heights? I saw my... <laughs> Let's talk about it real fast and then we can get back. So my thing is, I don't... <laughs> like the thrills and shit, cause I do thrilling shit. Like I, I jet ski. I, okay. Niggas see me on the kayak and on the river. Mm-hmm. Like I do, I do some certain thrilling shit. So mm-hmm. it ain't the thrill, it ain't the heights, but it's just like why I'm not. The the plane is fine. I'm gonna work out of jump out. If you want me to skydive, somebody need like the plane need to be like going down. Like make no. that shit real. No. Make absolutely, that <laughs> absolutely not. I don't. I don't like it. I'm a thrill seeker. <laughs> That's Fuck. a thrill. That's some thrilling shit. Can you imagine That's... being on a plane and niggas like, yo, put this parachute on? I don't ever want to imagine that type <laughs> of skydiving. Not that hey, one yo, right there. Hey, yo, put this parachute on. Absolutely we, not. We I'm get... dead already. Just leave me here as the plane goes down. Because I don't got, think I'm going to make we it. We got to get the fuck out of here. Put this parachute <laughs> on. Oh, my God. No. I'm not good in dangerous situations like that. I'm nervous now like the plane going down now. Absolutely fuck not. I'm not going to do that. Mm-mm. But that shit there... What's out of this world? Nah, the crazy thing is everybody who's done it, even the people who like said they would never do it again, said they loved it. That shit was, yeah. it was like that. I have a... Nah, I would do it though. Nah, he didn't call me though. Nobody ever calls me to actually go do dope shit. What? I just made that shit up to big him up because that's my nigga. Black, you should have called him. <laughs> Hopefully you see, you're going to hear and see this episode. <laughs> nah, you, next time just... you should have fucking called him. <laughs> Fuck. His skinny ass was the last one to come down. That motherfucker was floating in the fucking air. It was me, him, and Candace. Me, Candace came all the way down real fast. Big heavy bitches. Big backs came down immediately. Black ass just floating in the motherfucking bitch like a fucking feather. Black bitch. You said anyway. the, the nigga, he was teetering? Yeah, literally. Like, like I'm talking about some cartoon. Like cartoon I'm talking shit, about the, like, the pin. Like, that, even though he this close to the ground, he still just ain't I'm quite talking hitting about, that motherfucker for another, like, looked, 30 seconds. It looked like some Disney shit. Like, real shit. <laughs> You remember, I don't know what cartoon or show this was, but they the feather would come down and it would dip like in all, the ink. Like all them shits. Yeah, that's that exactly what it looked like. Yeah. yeah. But no, nah, um, not seeing the shit. And like, I mean, I would do it, but I'm not recording myself. Because I don't like, y'all lips, y'all lips and shit was looking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> 
when I did it. My glasses was all fucked up. I was drooling. It was crazy. I was beating my meat in the sky, all kind of shit. It was wild. Don't do that. Don't don't judge me. Don't judge me. I wanted to go viral. That's what I wanted to do. But after that, after we landed, all of that shit, Candace asked me a very specific question. She said, what are you going to do for your 35th birthday? I don't know what, why I came out of my mouth. I just said I'm going to do stand-up comedy. That very first show I did at Montego's, where I'm having a show at tomorrow night, September, <laughs> shit, 2nd, 2023. It's the first. That's tomorrow. Today's the 31st. The first, goddamn. Yeah. I'm fresh off a five-hour energy drink, so just let me calm it's down. It's cool. This, this, this episode's going to come out, like, after the show, so. Oh, okay, great. We don't have to do that then. All right. <laughs> um, September 25th, when I did it, like I said, I don't know why I said I was going to do stand-up comedy, but mm -hmm. when I prepared for that shit, I did 20 minutes, my first show. I remember. You were you weren't at, you was at the first one and my birthday show? I remember. Did I say this on the last episode? I don't get credit, so you didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you were definitely at my birthday show. That wasn't my first show. The one where you had the mask on, that yeah. wasn't my first show. I know. John, you weren't there. You was there? It was in the same place. It was in the same. All right, but so John was there. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, 20 minutes and. See how insignificant a nigga is? <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> it's not your insignificant nigga. Then you, do you know what happened to me after I did that nah, shit? No, it was just that when the, the other one, like, I that was when I stopped coming anywhere. So it was, it wasn't like normal to see me out and about. It so. wasn't because niggas still didn't see you out and about because you had a mask on. The fuck? No one knew. That you, they knew, but then they didn't know. Like, is that that nigga under there? This shit was in the middle of quarantine, and you sold the was it really? And you sold the motherfucking oh. show out. Let me let me clap it up for that. Pack the house. I couldn't find nowhere to park when I got there. Really? That shit was sold out. You know that. You know that shit. Relax. Was sold the that was out, a couple man. years ago now. You know that shit was sold out. I mean, cause I don't be. I've been. I just been funny my whole entire life. You know that. Yeah. So to see everybody there. To watch me on stage, that shit was surreal. Yeah. Like I remember mentioning to you that you should do comedy. Uh, you did, you did. <laughs> I wasn't. See, I was gonna keep you there. I'm gonna keep you there. I ain't gonna say nobody <laughs> else told me you were the only person that ever told. Me. No, I ain't say that. I know that. Like a lot of people tell me a lot of shit too. I I had ran from that comedy book for a long time. I ran from it because I didn't want to be structured. I didn't want to be like you know, uh, like I didn't want to be like what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. So. When I actually did it's therapy. Literally. Because I look like, like I say this shit all the time. I always make this comparison. I look at comedians and rappers the same. Because mm -hmm. it's the same grind. It's like, mm -hmm. nobody take you serious until it's time to take you serious. Even though the time to take you serious is when I first start doing this shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, you're doing this shit for the art. You're really nice at it. But nobody gives a fuck because you're not already there. But it's like, nigga, I can't get there until y'all get me there. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. It's like. That's why I'm. They the, go through the same struggles. Like promoters don't want to pay niggas. They setting they setting up shows, and you get there, and it ain't none of the shit that they fucking said it was gonna be is that. And they trying to improvise with you at the door. So I mean, it's, or they want to book you for your name, or because they heard so much about you, or yeah, or they booking you and you ain't even know you was booked. Like all kind of all weird shit, kind yeah. of in the yeah. way shit, like. All kind of shit. And I've, I've dealt with all of that in the past two years. Yeah. I was watching an interview today where it's like, I'm I'm starting to learn the business part of it. It's how, it's more than just fucking being funny at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's literally being likable. If people like you as a person, yeah. you're going to make it. And you got to know the business and you got to be able to put your foot down. I used to be scared to say certain shit like, give my price. Like, Ooh, yeah. I don't know how much I'm worth, but now I do. So goddamn, you got to pay. <laughs> you got to pay. That's it. Yeah, but set, I love it though. Set your price and live your life. Yeah, that's it. It took me a long time to get there though. It did, especially for I, I strive to make strangers laugh instead of yeah coming back home and you know I like doing shows back home, but making strangers laugh that's the that's the rush that I yeah. freaking chase. And that's the thing too though, because it's like comedy. You going into a room full of motherfuckers that you don't know what they find uh, funny. Mm-hmm. You don't know what they find funny, what they find offensive, what what they do don't laugh at. Well, that's the same thing as finding funny. But you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, and you got to make them, you got to figure out a way to make them laugh. And I do it every time. And Why? the motherfucker beside them, and the motherfucker beside them, and the motherfucker behind them, in front of them, like the whole, you got to make. Everybody. Yeah. White, black, old, young, gay, straight, it doesn't matter. Everybody. Yeah. So I'm doing a pretty good job 
at it. That's what I think. I just I'm just learning too. I'm learning so much. I don't want to rush it like you was talking about the content creators. I don't want to rush it. These people have been at it for years. I know people that's been in the game short long like shorter than I have and they want to get known and recognized right now. Why don't you want to learn the business? Learn yeah. the ins and outs. They want to be famous right now today. I don't want all that shit. I'm going to take the time. That's cuz fame is a drug. Yeah, I don't I'm good on so, that. I'm good on that. Quality. I'm good. Quality. Like, you can be famous but like the fame will get you so f- but so far. Mm-hmm. Unless all you care about is fame. Mm-hmm. If you don't really give a fuck about being well off, then, you know, like that works. You go viral. That's yeah. quick. Like, quick mm-hmm. fame. But, you know, for most people that actually enjoy the art and they put their they heart and soul and they sweat equity into mm-hmm. it, it's a little different. Yeah. So it's like, I want to leave some shit behind. I want to get a special. I want to do this. I want to do that. So. Literally, I want all of that. I want to be able to just. It's not even just like the 85 South show, but these motherfuckers open up their own lane, starting yeah. their own shit. And that's fucking dope as shit. I want to do some shit like that. Mental health, comedy, karaoke, all together. I don't know yeah. what my platform going to look like, but I'm going to put all of those together as one. That's it. And I don't know. I'm just, you know. And shout out to, what's my dog name? Damn, I don't, I be wanting to call him by his real name. I can't think of his <laughs> damn. I can't think of his right name no more. Justin Middlebrooks. <laughs> Shout out, Ma. There you go. He gave me my name. He gave me my name. That's dope. He did. He put it on the, on one of my posts one day. He commented, said, Steph Funny. And I was like, that's it. That's the name. So I'm running with that, taking that as my brand, and that's what it's going to be. Yeah. So that means you're you going to give him 10%. He don't want it. I'm going <laughs> to give it to him. He don't want it, though. I know. I know. I know how Marv is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has a big heart. I'm just fucking with you. That's my dog, though. But yeah. Um. So, at what point did you look and decide, like, yo, nah, this is it. Like, this is what, this is my new life. This comedy, this is my new life. When did I decide that? When did it happen? Like, so I know you said you made the decision you're going to do comedy mm-hmm. skydiving. Or was it the same point? Like, because I'm, like, your first show, was you like, this is it? This is my life? Or, like... Absolutely not. Okay. The so very what was first, the coming to age on that? The very first show I did, like I said, I just did it just to do it. Because I want to just say, okay, I tried it. Kind of like st- the Will Smith thing. Because he... Y'all, you was you was living... You and the Will Smith was, like, living the same life. Because I remember he was doing all the daring shit. Yeah. He skydove, and then he went and did the stand-up and, show. Like, yeah. Like, that's what it was. But I think it opened... No, no, for real. I think it opened up for me that I wanted to actually do this... When I started to meet bigger name comedians as fans, and then I started doing shows with them. Like Moneybag Mafia. Mm -hmm. I met him as a fan first, then I was on a tour with him. Uh, Mr. Bankshot, Tyler Chronicles, all of these people. I met them as a fan first, and then I started doing shows with them. I was like, oh shit. Uh, Yeah, this is it. I'm funny as hell, for real, for real. Like, I fuck with this. Hard body. Like... I didn't know. I didn't know at first. I didn't know. I had no idea. Because, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been funny my whole life. So just to make, sh- I keep saying the same thing. Making strangers laugh is where yeah. I live at, man. Like, for real. That's it. That's just where I live at. It's, I just want to make people feel good. But let me see the first one. I think it was Tyler Chronicles. Mm-hmm. I did that show in Atlanta with him. And I was very aggressive when I met him. Okay. I uh, I went up to him and I said, hey. We met at the Joe Torrey, Jake. La da da, I said, I'm on this show with you tonight. I need you to pay attention to me. He was like, All right, damn, you ain't got to shoot me or nothing like that. <laughs> so I did my seven minutes. I did seven minutes and 36 seconds. After the show, he dapped me up. He said, You did a good job. You're funny as shit. You're very unique. Um, you know, all the cliche shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. still, as long as I heard it, I was like, All right, bet, I'm good. Then I started doing all the other shows. So <sighs> that's it right now. Yeah. So once I mean once you do that, you kind of like oh yeah I belong here. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely belong here. My name is in rooms that I didn't even know it was being mentioned in. Yeah. Um, like big like big name comedians. I've met Ti, all of that shit, and it's like when I get to certain when I go do certain shows, I'll meet the promoter or I will meet whoever's there, and they're like, yeah, I already heard about you. You're you're good as this. You're da da da. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even yeah. I didn't fucking know I came in this bitch butt naked, just ready to tell my little joke. Y'all got y'all know who I am already, so. Yeah, it's a good feeling. It is that my 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 name and my comedy precedes me. So that's yeah, good. That's amazing. Thanks. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, do you write or do you? Uh... Yeah, I write. Okay. 
I do. I actually have a shitload of material in here. So every Tuesday I do an open mic in Greensboro, and that's where I work my material out at. Yeah. Um, so polished and all of that shit. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Work on my crowd work, work on all of that shit. Um, and then I just go on stage and use what works. I I still use some of the same old material. Not when I first, not my very first show. I took all that out because what I've noticed is either I'm either I'm already a comedic genius or everybody just think the same sometimes. Um, so I'll hear certain jokes. Two or, things can be true as well. Yeah, Two in real life. True, yeah. So I'll hear certain people, certain women tell jokes or certain men tell jokes, and I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. I already said that, or I got a joke just like that. But the way I present it is different. Yeah. Um, so I have to, I'll have to, i go back and try to rewrite my shit just to give a different perspective or my point of view um, on it. Like right now, my, my hood nigga jokes, I fucking love them. <laughs> I love them because they love me. A lot of female comedians only talk about they just want to male bash. I don't do that. I'm out here supporting a black man. Okay? <laughs> I'm out here just clap, it up for hey. that. clap it up for that. Clap it up for that. I'm out here supporting a black man. So anyway possible. Yeah. Let me do that. Oh, that's good. We need more of that. We because the ladies out here fucking up the church's money. <laughs> they are fucking up the no, church's they want money. The city girls up. City girls up right there. <laughs> city girls, sexy red, to... glorillas. No, not the actual like city girls. You know the the, the internet shit. The city, yeah, city girls up. I don't know nothing yeah. about that. I don't know nothing about that. You're not a city girl. Absolutely. Only at not. heart. You think so? <laughs> I don't think I'm a ratchet. I be trying to be, but I don't know if I can do it. Bitch, I go to bed early. Before... <laughs> I do not. Mm-mm. I can't do it. Mm-mm. I can't out here doing people wrong. That's what they do. They just out here just. For the bag, uh, sure. bitch. Mm-mm. They coochie stink. They give bad <laughs> coochie energy. I don't live that life. <laughs> I promote good vagina. You know what I'm saying? That's a great promotion. <laughs> That's a great promotion. I promote great. It's crazy. You promote that and I advocate for it. <laughs> I advocate for good vagina. You have to. <laughs> so you easy. must. <laughs> you must to fight for them, okay? Because yeah. look. These hoes out here be. If the glove don't fit, she can still get hit. Yeah. I never said that. <laughs> I never said that. You just said it. I never said that. I got the AI voice thing, so I can. Absolutely I can not. You're not going to use that on me. Because that's some wild shit. That's some <laughs> wicked shit these days. I would be upset if my <laughs> name, face, and voice was on some wild shit. I don't fucking know. And, like, hold on. I'm going to go grab the green screen. We can put the green screen behind you so we can put you, like... And that's exact... No, no, no. I don't got to. Don't turn me to no avatar. Don't turn me to none of them shit. Don't turn nah, me to no... Gonna, little... You're going to be at the podium at the White House. Mm-mm. I don't... Gonna put the... Absolutely not. Mm-mm. I don't want none of that shit. And then I just need you to stare into the con- the camera like Mitch McConnell. Just... Mm-mm. I'm going to fall asleep like Joe... Our Mitch president. McConnell fall asleep in the middle of his fucking... Joe Button called that man booty hole. Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> What I say, Joe Button. Joe Button is your president? No. <laughs> Damn. I just thought he was like the number Joe one. Joe Biden. I, mean, Biden. I knew he was number one on the Joe podcast Biden. list, but I didn't know he was fucking That's president. what my daddy called him, Joe Biden. Joe Biden <laughs> called that other dude. What do you call him? Booty hole? Thank you, booty hole? Booty something? That's crazy. You didn't see that? No. Nah. Some white, some guy. I can't. I'm not into politics like that. All I know is you like things. So yeah. I, the crazy thing is, I only want to. I want, only want to see the like the clips that's like funny. Yeah, but that was funny. He or the him, ones that matter. I didn't see that one though. Oh yeah, he called I him booty hole. He's like, thank you so much for the booty hole. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Joe Biden, calm down. I don't think he should be our. Never mind. Go ahead. I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm not gonna. Do yeah. That. No. Let's. Uh, politics is not. Uh, that's my, not my forte either. Mm-mm. So um, we can. <laughs> Just let that be what it is. I be wanting to be um, daring as a comedian, but it's some shit I really won't yeah. touch. I, I mean, won't. I'm already outspoken enough on every yeah. other fucking thing on the planet. Cause politics, they can they can have that. They got it, hands down. I got bigger fish to fry because politics ain't even meant for black people. It's anyway, not meant so. for us so, at all. No. It has nothing to do with me. Nothing in the system is designed for us to benefit. Mm-mm. And I specifically mean us as black people. Literally. Just us. So, we know that. Right here with it. That's it. Bring it a little higher. Okay. Bring it a little higher. Because you already said that um, I look like a nigga in court right now. So That's crazy. That's what you said about me. 
Excuse me. At what point of this podcast did I say that? Oh, it was beforehand. It was. Oh, uh, so it was like off the record. So you could be making this <laughs> up. You could just be making this up. Like that's what you said record. about me. You said I look like a nigga that's going to court, that's ready to, you know what I'm saying, snitch and shit. That's what you said. That's crazy. You said the judge didn't even require me to dress this way as far as just the glasses. I didn't have to put them on. That's what you niggas said. Niggas do go get. Where do niggas be getting them from, though? Because niggas those do glasses? be getting glasses when they go to Amazon. court. Amazon. Niggas definitely get glasses or when they go, go to, to court. Or they'll go to their local beauty supply. They got the best frames in there. They just not real glasses. Mine are real. These is prescription based, nigga. I cannot see. There's medicine in here. Every yeah, I hate glasses. glasses. I can't see shit right now. Uh, you can definitely see. Your eyes are green. You can see everything. And the, the hue, and a good hue also. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Your eyes are green. You can see. That don't mean they work. They do work. If your eyes are colored You heard natu- Cat Williams and Friday. They're not supposed to just be hazel. You're supposed to be able to do something you can, with them. You like, can, you, you're I doing something with them right now. You can see, John. If your eyes are naturally a different I mean, color, I can see. It's just blurry. No, it's not. How the fuck are you telling me? You wear gla- you don't wear glasses in real life, do you? I, be, yeah, I do. I, okay. Why you don't got them on? You got your contacts on? You trying to be pretty today? Nah, man. What you trying to do? What's up? I'm just trying to function in life. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing a good job. I'm just trying to function see. in life. You're doing a good job. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing okay. Like, What is this modest, humble thing you're doing? What is this? What? What is that? What is that about? We can change the interview to you. It's not a thing. Nice. That's how you are. Look at your hands. It's Relax. Just me. <laughs> Real life. You know me, man. Do I really? Do I know you for real? <laughs> Let's talk about that. You won't let me call you um, Ja Digger. That's crazy. Why would you want to call me that? Because <laughs> that's your name. It's not my name. It is. That's your name in my phone. And you that doesn't really mean got, that's my name. You got a whole attitude when I called you that because you thought it was corny, all kind of shit. Nigga, I fuck with that name. Ja Digger? What? Nah. Digger? So. We already got Raw Digger, <laughs> and I already got a homeboy named Digger Buck, so I, like, I, I can't yeah, be... I want to call you John Digger. That's fine. What? People in hell want ice water. Yeah, I mean, I'll never be able to... I don't know how to help them out. But you, John Digger, that's you, man. Nah, that's not. What? You don't like it? <laughs> no. Why? I don't like it. That's unique. You don't think so? Go John look in Digger? the mirror and say that shit to yourself. All right, man. <laughs> say this. All right, nigga. I'm just trying to be cool with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, I don't know how to handle light skinned niggas no more, bro. I don't know how to Yo. maneuver around y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm glad I'm not one. So I don't know. But I, you I don't are though. That, you are so, you are the yeah. epitome of a light skinned nigga no, I'm, physically, I'm, physically, not personality wise. No, I'm just I'm not. You light skinned with green eyes and I'm, you got locks. You give vibes that I'm you, diet chocolate. You're what? I'm diet chocolate. Who told you that? I'm a, yeah, that's that's it. I'm is that what you chocolate. tell yourself? No, that's that's just what it is. I ain't never heard of no such thing as no fucking diet chocolate. This nigga was telling me That's he two it. shades from the, being the same color. I we am. We, we damn near. We, we damn We're not damn near. a little lighter than me. Just a little, little bit. Like spell a little. little. L I L. Absolutely not. L I L. I'm dark out here in these streets. Big black. You hear me? Big black, big back. And I give dark skin girl vibes. You know what I'm saying? You give. You did tell me you just punched somebody in traffic. I did here, not. Though, so. Maybe I don't give dark skin girl vibes. I don't be fighting. <laughs> I'm not a fighter. I've never been a fighter. You never heard about me fighting, right? Nah, it's ne- not usually a fight. What you mean? It was just like, oh, yeah, she be dragging bitches. But they ain't say that you never. be fighting. <laughs> they ain't never. say like, yeah, she be fighting. It was like, nah, yeah, she be dragging bitches. Absolutely not. You know the first time? Not about hair either. <sighs> like, she really just dragging bitches. I remember in the military, I, I beat up two bitches at one time. See what I'm saying? I had to. Did you drag them bitches? I did. I, 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 I knocked one out of her shoes. Like, both of them came off simultaneously. Like, at the same time, they came out of her. All right. I don't want to talk about that life. <laughs> I'm healed now. I'm healed so much that outside of comedy and working in mental health, I don't do shit. Yeah. Okay? That's cool. All right. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, when you get into the groove, like, with the writing and everything, like, or not even just writing itself. So, like, what's your creative process? Like, what? how do you... Um. Do you need, like, complete silence, or do you, like, go... Because, you know, some writers, when they write, they need to be alone. They need silence. Some people need a little, you know what I mean, people in the room. Or some people, like, you might be at a party or something with somebody having a conversation. Like, you know what? Let me goddamn. That's me. Do, do, do. That's what I do. Yeah. I'm definitely that, since I'm a comedian to all my friends now, mm-hmm. they, one, my friends always recommend some shit. They'll be like, oh, you should put that in your skit. First of all, it's not called a skit. Let's start there. 
<laughs> it's not that. Um, two, I'm definitely that friend in the creative process where if I hear something funny or if I go through something funny or I see somebody go through some funny shit, I'd be like, ooh, I got to write this down. Yeah. I got to I gotta write this down. But if it's just me taking my 15 minutes every day to write, my 10 to 15 minutes every day to write, I'll play some comedy in the background. I'll put on Pandora, whatever type of comedy station, um, or I'll put on some music and I'll just write. Yeah. I'll just write. Um, whatever comes to my mind, I'll think about the day before or some old shit. Because there's a lot of old shit that I have not even scratched the surface of. So that's what I do. Okay. Well, that's dope. And I then have... I read a lot too. So reading forces me to write also. I'm reading right I'm reading two books right now at one time. A comedy I'll read a comedy book and then, you know, a a, a spiritual book. So mm-hmm. both of them together will always promote me to like, yeah. come on, Steph, you can do this. What you currently read? So right now I'm reading the um, how to fail at stand up comedy, and then the other book I'm reading is called Contagious, and I'm reading that book um, based off one of my other comedy homeboys. He had recommended that and said that um, Nipsey Hussle read that. Okay. So it's basically talking about how things catch on, how to go viral, um, marketing, advertising, all that shit. So it's very good so far. That's dope. Very good. And the how to fail at stand up comedy is literally telling you everything not to do yeah. in the business. Not even yeah. just the art of stand-up, but the business itself. I want every comedian under two to three years of... Com- I promise to you, I want every comedian under two to three years of comedy to read that book because new comics that get a lot of stage time or do shows with big names, they think they the shit already and they yeah. don't know nothing. Yeah. They don't know anything. It's motherfuckers that's been in this game 30 plus years that's still learning shit. So literally. <laughs> so, literally. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad I'm also glad that I started out later in life with comedy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I've had a chance to live life. A lot of these people don't know what to talk about. They ain't lived nothing. They ain't yeah. did nothing. They ain't did shit. I have. I've lived a I've lived a pretty good life so far. So yeah. a lot of it is good though, because a lot of the shit comes from experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rather you experienced it yourself or you experienced it through others, like seeing it happen to somebody, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. though, but you got to, that's how that is. So, like, I'd segue into that. So, what's, because that was actually one of my questions. So, mm-hmm. what, uh, your source of inspiration? My source of inspiration. And it doesn't have to be one place. Relationships. So, if that makes sense, because... Not just intimate ones, but just relationships. In general, yeah. in general, yeah. how I have platonic friendships, I have work relationships, all kind of shit. Um, I just look at life differently when it comes to relationships in general. And I talk about that on stage, because I am a woman that holds myself accountable for a lot of things. Yeah. So, when you do that, you have to do that in relationships and with yourself first. So, I just... Yeah. That's where I be at with with a lot of it. Nah, I mean that's me. Like so, with me when it comes to relationships and like you said, not just intimate ones. Just mm-hmm. it In don't general. matter the relationship with your kids, relationship with your mm-hmm. parents, relationship with just your friends that you like. I keep, I cherish them shits because mm-hmm. I don't fuck with everybody. Mm-hmm. So if I fuck with you, don't fuck with me. Point blank <laughs> you know period. I'm so, I'm dead ass. And I ain't even trying to play on words, but that's really like, you know what I'm saying? Because like. It's like Kevin Gates said, if I fuck with you, I'm all the way out there for you. Absolutely. If I don't fuck with you on mine, you know it, I don't fuck with you. I don't mean it's beef or nothing just, like that. Just, I just don't care. But like the people that I, I love, I fuck with, mm-hmm. and I might not talk to you for months. As long as nothing happened, right. always know that nothing changed. In real life. Unless something on your end changed, then right. I can't control that. But like I cherish the people around me. Yeah. Like I go to the end of the world for, for whoever. You know what I'm saying? Like. But just cause I just cause I say I die for you don't mean put me in a position where I please because I don't want to be killed right now today. It's, <laughs> I don't think it's time right now. You know what I'm saying so. But that's I, I've been running into a lot that a lot. Um, people be peopling like they never peopled before. People I need you to put that up somewhere. People out here peopling like they I'm never peopled. I'm not putting that. <laughs> like they never. So you can call before. me sassy. So <laughs> people be peopling. I seen that shit earlier. I'm not. I'm not. Can you post that? Nah, hell no. I can't post that shit. That was one of the best posts I've posted in a long time to get the men riled up. I told these yeah. niggas they sassy if they turn regular words into verbs. Life be life in. Steven it's told- crazy, though, because like a nigga started that trend. Who? Who was the nigga? Because I seen your comment. It was somebody on that. Twitter. It was somebody on Twitter, for sure. Oh. I don't I don't have the like the actual source, but... Oh, I didn't know it was a man. I thought it was... That but city yo, girl talking. to crazy me. shit, though, and I don't have a dog in either, so I don't really give a fuck, mm-hmm. but, like, 
niggas be starting a lot of shit that women take, but when niggas like continue doing it after women take it, they like, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Let me like, tell you something. I know. Like hookah. Hookah's like like the main thing. Like mm-hmm. I be saying mad people saying like niggas is whatever if they smoke hookah, hookah and shit like that. Men started smoking that first. Definitely. Oh wow. I had no idea. I In don't... the Middle East. See, like I them killer mother niggas was smoking hookahs with AK. You gonna pull it up? Of course. I believe you. In real life, but pull yeah. it up. So I do got sources for this, but nah. So that's that's it's like it's really like a Middle Eastern ritual thing. So I I believe that if men were not here, women would be bored out of their mind. We wouldn't have and shit vice to versa. do. But n- n- men still have fun. Y'all niggas know how to go out and have fun mm. with certain shit. Girls don't know how to do that. We don't know how to do that. We go to brunch. See, you know this what I'm was saying? the so this is like the real hookah shit. Oh right? shit. Okay. This is that's the American. Oh, that's the that's big the American version. Okay. <laughs> that's the, the, now go back. That's to the why other they one. say niggas can't smoke. Because he's like, yeah, that's see, sassy right there. Like that's crazy. But like, yeah, this is not sass. This gives hardcore. Yeah. And you know it's an AK somewhere around in yeah. that vicinity. And it stink a little bit too. So you know what I'm saying. I've been over there before, so it stink. It's funky a little bit. <laughs> it is. But that whole post I made, it was. To rile people up just yeah, cause. But I get it though, cause niggas ain't in the club like this. No, they're not. They I'm talking in the club. About, like, I'm, 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 them niggas is in their phone, blowing the smoke in the face, <laughs> pouty lip, going all like this. Mm-mm. Why do you have to do nah, that? Nah, niggas not duck lipping. Who ain't? Niggas ain't duck lipping, blowing smoke. What? Nah. Yes, they are. They I are. I don't want to believe that. Oh, okay. You don't have to. <laughs> I've seen it with my own eyes. All of them. I'm the, glad I don't follow those kind of those niggas. On. No, I've seen so it. So I know niggas who smoke hookah. I ain't saying that. I'm talking about that's holding their phone and blowing. I'm talking about Snapchat with, with duck lips. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. And then we'll redo it if they don't get well, enough smoke in there. That was the advocate. Not okay. caping though, not okay. caping. Devil's advocate, maybe because they know that women like hookah. That might be. Is this is this on like their story or like on they? Let me tell you what I've seen. Like they post it because the they, they might be throwing the boat, the bait out. Let me, and that works. They for... might be throwing the bait out. Like you had, a, you had a function. You got the hookah. I know hookah costs extra when you got a section. Some joints might ask, "Hey, where you at?" Boom. Nigga that's, might not smoke no more hookah the rest of the night. He might have just had to take that one no, that gonna, one pull for the team. They are going to smoke hookah for the rest of the night, especially <laughs> till the bitches get there. Especially. Especially. Just in case they don't come, they ain't going to waste their... They no, they, uh... they're not going to waste that money. Absolutely <laughs> not. They're not going to waste that. They're going to smoke it and leave and go find where the other bitches is at. Uh-uh. That, and that's a different... <laughs> I'm, I'm an older caliber of woman, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So... I want to do the opposite of what all the kids do. So if yeah. they're going out free before 9 o'clock, can you take me out at 1237 o'clock yeah. in the p.m. in the afternoon, please? Yeah, so if if the kids is free, I'm probably just not going to go out. Because after 12, I'm I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm going After 12 o'clock now. in the afternoon? I'm old now. I'm older than you. I can do day drinking. I can do that. I fuck with that. Oh, yeah, that's what I day drink. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm good. I'm I don't need to go to the function after the function. No, 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 no. Day drinking is where I'm at. Let's go to yeah, breakfast. I'm, day party, I'm pulling up to the day party. Absolutely. If I'm free. If I got time, yeah. I'm free. I'm pulling up to the day party. But other than that, no, I can't go out with the kids. The kids, they want to go out. Yeah, I'm not late. staying out at 2 no more. Though. I don't even want to stay out till 12. Not on purpose. That's what I'm saying. You said after 10, like, nah. After, I'm good. Not free before 9, free before 10 o'clock, I'm not going. I don't even I don't even like to do that when I come home because my the biddies want to do that. And I thought we, I wanted to go see Kyle yeah. tonight, but I ain't even gonna go. <laughs> Kyle, love you, bye. Mm-mm, I'm not finna do it. My bitch is tired. Mm-mm. After look, let me tell you some real shit. After I stopped smoking, mm-hmm. I didn't know what the side effects would be. Right? I didn't know that. And this is not weed. I'm talking about. I never, not I never smoked weed, but I had stopped smoking weed a long, long, long time ago. Those days. So this is like black and mild. You know what I'm saying? That's why my voice still sounds like this. A yeah, I stopped bit. smoking not a long, long time ago. Probably like 45 minutes. Ago. <laughs> I okay. Smoked, like, oh, this is your callback. I smoked in like right before you. This your in. this your callback. It's a good one. I'm not smoking now though. You're not smoking right now. I'm glad you're not, because I wouldn't be able to talk if you were smoking right now. That's good. Contact guy for me, absolutely not. Shuts me down. That shit don't work. What you mean? Who don't work? Contact guy. I mean, I guess not for me. Because you smoke. Forty five minutes ago. It would be great if, like, the niggas who be begging to hit the blunt cut contact high so they can leave you the fuck alone. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that life. <laughs> I mean, I don't share blunts, though. Yeah, so, don't like, do I it. Just, I, I'd rather just roll you one and you just have that. I'm just in a... Wanna, unless you, like, 
like a shorty like my. I mean, yeah, that's that's whatever. But people yeah. assume that weed would make me funnier. Absolutely not. It does the the total opposite for me. Yeah, it's gonna shut me down. Now side effects, right? I stopped smoking black, and I just randomly just stopped smoking because my body was tired of that shit, nigga. You know, I gained fifteen to twenty pounds not smoking no more. Right. Like dead ass. Did you so? Did you feel it with something else or? Um, did I feel not smoking with something else? Yeah. Food. Food. I mean. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I hate motherfucking food and salty food at that because the bitch got high blood pressure at the same time. Yeah. Salty shit is the best shit. It's the it, worst shit for you, though. It's, just, it's the absolute worst shit for you, but like. It's the best. I don't it's care how well they season that motherfucker. Salt, nigga. That salt going to hit it off. Salt. I can taste some salt right now. <laughs> That's crazy. I can taste it now. <laughs> But now I can't even fuck with it no more. It made me want to go back to smoking. I done gained all this weight. I want to stop eating. You might eating. need to just drink some water. I you do. You can taste I... salt right now. You might want to just take a... <laughs> you know how you think about certain shit that you no, can no, just taste? No, you taste the salt, you need to you know how you just take think about. Swig. You know how you just think about certain shit you can taste it right now? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like a steak or... Yeah, that's exactly like what I was thinking about. Like some peanuts or anything. Food. Yeah, 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 big food Absolutely. type shit. Think about food. Like the big back food. Like Not I was Maya. just telling you huh? about that Chick-fil-A sandwich. Yeah. What? I didn't say What'd you say? Say nothing like, at all. Like what? I ain't say nothing. Say it again. I couldn't hear you. Nothing. I was listening to you talk. What did you say? When? That's you see how I'm looking away so I can hear you. What just? <laughs> what did you just say? When? Just you said like something. All right, y'all. Fine. Fuck it. Don't don't repeat what you just said. <laughs> don't repeat it. Don't repeat it. That's some big back shit though, cause I could taste salt. You know what I'm saying? You should drink water if you tasting salt. And then you said. <laughs> That's how I came. That's how I came about. Yeah, you should take. Taste of salt is not good. You need me to. <laughs> you need to pause everything. Mm-hmm. We can get you. I told you, like you can just think about it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you trying to play me? But nah, let's think bring about- it back though. Um, so while we on the subject of you know men and women, well, we were on the subject of men and women. And- it was a different topic than what we about to get into, but mm-hmm. like, so as a as a woman in comedy in in the com- comedy world, like, do you feel like it's harder being taken serious, like it is in other fields? Like, you know, have she might be the best woman, whatever, in a male dominated field. Not saying comedy is male dominated, but you know what I mean. But like, and she walks in, it's like, oh, I don't know if I want her as my. So like is it is it the same like do you feel it's the same way that it's it's harder to be taken serious as um, a woman in comedy? If you don't take it serious, yeah. If you don't take it serious, it's they're not gonna take you serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know like a lot of women, um, not the women themselves, but the audience kind of especially they expect certain content out of women. Right, and it's not sex. They yeah. don't like women to talk about sex, tucking dick, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. that's cool, and I understand it. That's why I say if you take it serious and you can go beyond sex talk or relationship talk or the stock jokes type yeah. shit. Because that's easy. Saying? Yeah, all that stuff easy is easy. Shit, yeah. Um, a lot of women we may we are very emotional, so we're gonna take everything serious. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think we overthink, and that's how it can it can come off that we're not taken serious because we overthink a lot of stuff instead of just believing in ourselves that we are funny and we do belong at the table with a lot of these men. Yeah. Um, but everyone also looks the same too. So it's I don't know I don't know I haven't had that issue personally, but I've seen it. Yeah. But I can also see how the women are not being taken seriously. There's a lot of women yeah. out here. You want to be a comedian or you want to show your ass. Yeah. Or Shit like that. Just pick a lane. Pick for it sure. and stick with it. So and it hasn't been hard for me though. Nah, that's good. And then I mean, but this is the so I mean this is the age of that though. Mm-hmm. So it's like some people are just gonna whatever lane they feel like is like, oh niggas is winning over here. Let me go try this. Damn, that ain't working. Niggas win over here. Let me go. Like some people don't find a lane and go in it. You know what I'm saying? Some people just keep lane jumping and trying to figure out what it is. So cause I just just piggybacking off what you just said, mm-hmm. how some people showing boom, 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 but they, you know, so it's like, you got to. There there are people that are genuinely afraid to be themselves. Like I said, you, you can be yeah. anybody else. You can be anybody else instead of just being yourself. Like, yeah. be yourself. 
um, that will take you the furthest. Take the road less travel. Everybody don't know who you are authentically. Be that. Yeah. So they're jumping all these bandwagons because it looks easy, and they already there's already a blueprint yeah. over here for it. There's, so it's easy to follow. Yeah. And another thing with it is um, people are trying to, you know, we in the niche era. Mm-hmm. So everybody trying to, this, that's their niche, so they going for a certain target audience. But like you said, you be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how many people think just like the real you? So if you being yourself and you putting your content out, being authentically yourself, you going to naturally gravitate. Yeah, so what if it's only 20,000 people opposed to 50,000? But that's a 20,000 people core that, audience come that on. is never going to leave never. because they they feel that bond with you. And they feel like, yo, I know this motherfucker. I never met him or her, but I know this motherfucker. And this is everybody this motherfucker think just like I do. Literally, I oh. uh, I've seen individuals get upset that you know, certain people don't laugh at the jokes. You're not, that's, they're not for you. You're not for them. Yeah. Like you said, find your core audience. They're going to follow you forever. Just stick to who you are. Your people, your tribe is going to find you. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the place where I'm living at too. I don't, I understand I'm like making strangers laugh, but not all them strangers are going to follow me. I could have yeah. been good just for that one night. That's it. They might That's not it. remember me no more, never. But there's some people that will follow me. Um, I said something that resonated with them, or they'll. One girl came up to me and was like, "Man, I go through it all the time." You know, uh, a lot of people assume I'm a lesbian too, and I go through that all the time. So that's a core audience that I have right yeah. there, like literally. And I never knew it was so many other women that felt like that. We just tomboys out here in these streets, <laughs> and people just automatically. I've been getting that since I was 19 years old, like literally. But that. That specific audience is following me. So they ain't see how you used to dance at the house parties back. No, nah, they don't know that. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> the, the, so that, I just did a show in Cleveland, Chris. and I come out twerking, okay. Mm-hmm. And when I came out twerking, I was dancing to Uncle Luke's car, right, shaking my small tight ass. Um, the video is on my Facebook page, my TikTok, everywhere, and a young man's chair breaks and he falls out of the chair the headliner that came up after me basically said it was my torque wind (laughs) that knocked him out of the chair so that type of twerking yeah that's built for straight women i know how to twerk like a stud on stage but not in real life so i had to just go ahead and address that right there (laughs) a lot of them end up pregnant so they twerk in real life too listen i've (laughs) seen the craziest video today of this guy chocolate sundays he was like there's no such thing as a lesbian you know why because they use dildos not all of them not all of them but who's rubbing coochies together that's friction that's disgusting i mean i ain't gonna front it's there's a few (laughs) women that i would love to see bump coochies Mm. so i can put my face in between them okay scissoring all right okay that's one of my jokes I say, I can't ride dick for three minutes, but you want me to rub coochies with you for 47 minutes. I can't do it. I'm not <laughs> finna do that. Mm-mm. I'm not that flexible. It may seem like it, but I'm not. That's not my life. That's not my life. But these women, they just, you know, we demand a lot and we don't give as much. Yeah. what I miss? None. Okay. Say that again. We demand so can, a lot. I'm going to just cut it in. We dem- Go ahead. Listen, we demand a lot, but we don't give a lot. We don't give a lot. People may assume that I'm a pick me girl right now because I be out here promoting for the man. Call me what you want. I don't give a fuck. They only call women pick me's when they like fucking up their moves. Listen. Let me stop. Listen. <laughs> let me tell you something. I ain't got no dog in the fight because I don't give a fuck either way. But I just feel like whoever gonna fuck with me gonna fuck with me. That's and it. Whoever not gonna. That's fuck it. With me not gonna fuck with me. That's it. And you were talking about you know. You know, being there for your people, the people in your life that you love dearly and close to your heart. Mm-hmm. That's what I was trying to get to. I have this persona. I have this personality that is very gravitated. Everybody wants to be around me. Very magnetic. Everybody wants to be around me. I can't be everybody's friend. I'm not built for everybody. No. I'm not. I'm that's, not. That's for sure. Like, I'm I've, genuinely I've, not built for everybody. I've come to realize that, like, over the last few, like, maybe like eight to nine months. Really? I think no, I don't mean that I can't be friends with everybody. I mean, I'm that includes like people that I'm currently like, or I was currently friends with. Like, mm-hmm. you gotta like let people go sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. They're hurt, but not let them go. Like, I don't fuck with you no more. But no. like, yo, I need you to keep your distance. From We're me on two different paths right it. now. That's it. And, and your path gonna derail mine if we don't separate yeah, now. Let's just go ahead and. Yeah. I wish you the best. We can. I, hey, you good? You straight? Cool. Yeah. All that, but. 
nah, and it's a lot of people in the comedy world that's trying to come to me as a tr as being a part of my tribe because they see that I have all this positive energy and you know all this stuff. Hey, baby, it's the the same amount of energy I put in being positive. It's the same shit when shit is down. Yeah. That's the part that people don't be understanding. Just because you see me happy up here all the time, nigga, don't catch me on this side. If you can't, if you can't accept this part here, don't just accept that positive part. Yeah. Because I'm definitely that friend that's gonna tell you when you're wrong. I made a post about that the other day. Yeah. I'm Accountability is a big thing. That's the biggest thing. Especially if you actually give a fuck about somebody. Because like being a yes man and shit like that, like you actually is is being more detrimental to their life and their growth. Because you go yes them into some shit that they can't get out of. But accountability is like, no, I give a fuck enough about you to make you not do this dumb shit. Now, if you go do this dumb shit, now it's on you. But I'm letting you know. I'm pointing out the signs. I'm letting you know where this path leads. And you still trying to do this dumb shit. Now, that's on you. But at least I can say I put forth a conscious effort to at least prevent you from doing the dumb shit. Come on now. This is a part but of... But you're grown at the end of the day. Literally. You're, at the end of the day, you're grown. You're, <laughs> that's I, that, hey, that's just, you know, that's just my little two cents. My, when I give my advice at the end of that shit, my, I always say, but hey, who am I? Who am I? I literally that's say my, that. That's my, yeah, that's my phrase. Relationships is, like I told you, that's my source of motivation because I'll have friends that come to me with different experiences. Oh, well, my husband this or my boyfriend that. I'll give my two cents, but then I'll be like, look, I'm single. You don't really need to be asking me for a bunch of fucking yeah. advice. I'm going to give you advice for you. I can't give you advice for your relationship because yeah. I don't have that that type of experience. But what we're going to talk about is what you did wrong. And if you're not ready for that hardcore conversation, don't come over here to me, man. Don't yeah. don't don't ask me for shit. Yeah, because I'm not just going to take your side. I'm not. I'm going to tell you that you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, so certain situations, not like advice shit, but like, you know, you know the old saying, like, yo, yeah, in public, I'm a ride for you. But Absolutely. in private, behind closed doors, yeah. I'm on your ass. That's it. I'm on your ass. That's don't, it. Don't right or wrong, I'm a ride for you in public, but depending on how wrong. <laughs> <sighs> nah, it's. it's Is I, it? I ain't going to speak certain shit into, but yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. There's right, certain right. shit that I can't look past as, as a human. It's going to be on my face, like. Yeah. So, but at the end of the day, yeah, I'm going. I'm on your ass at that. I have friends right now to this day that won't tell me certain shit because they don't be ready for my honesty. They yeah. don't. And that's cool. I'm not upset about it. I'm not mad about none of that. And it's most just, of the time that means they know that it's some bullshit. That's why they don't. If okay. they know, If they know that the answer that you about to give them is going to be some shit they don't want to hear. Then they know what they're doing is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's I didn't it. think about it like that. So yeah. I used That's to get it. I used to get upset about that. I used to get really upset when I felt left out or anything like that. But at the end of the day, it's like, nah, they they already know what I'm gonna give. And I don't need to exalt that energy when you already know you done fucked up. Yeah. So I don't need to tell you. No. I don't need to tell you. Cause I told you I'm out here promoting for accountability. <laughs> Good vagina is accountable. This is for women only. Okay? This is for women, not bitches. Okay. Women. Oh. Okay. There's a difference. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> I just want to promote for good vagina and, and I, real good women. And I'm an advocate. I know. You you said it. Oh, I thought this. I thought this was like a like we was doing like a tag like a promo like a tag We're team. Not. It's not that. How at do all. you promote for good women? Tell me. How do I promote for good women? Good vagina. What I'm not trying doing? to get my platform taken down. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> Say less and do more. I'm going to be quiet. We can alter that. We can I'll tell you it. off camera. Okay. Yes, sir. You know what? I think I want some of this Jim Beam. That oh, shot o'clock is coming. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I'm Matter of fact, too fuck fast. it. Why you being a dickhead fool? Oh. Stop being a dickhead. Oh. <laughs> All right. That was sensual. Shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot a motherfucking clock. I'm ready. So we gonna get these shots off? Yeah, yeah. I was, I didn't want the Jim Beam. I do gotta, damn, I gotta go get the shot glasses. I don't have them on the, um. Okay, so what we gotta do? I mean, we gonna take the shot. Okay. So what we shooting to? What prosperity? We shooting to? Yes, prosperity, prosperity, peace, power, love, um, acknowledgement, goddamn freedom, all kind of shit in real yeah. life. I love it. All of it. Freedom, financial freedom. Yeah. Spiritual freedom, yes. mental freedom, yes. all that shit. Yeah. Let's get it. Shots yes. up. Unball your face. No, nigga, I don't drink that shit. <laughs> you sound like just now all you drink is that shit. I don't drink that shit. 
That's because I stopped smoking. I still got my little black and mild voice. <laughs> <laughs> Good gracious. I told you my mama drink this shit. God damn. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about TSB on the ones and twos. Ooh, shit. All right, I'm good. I ain't going to be no bitch. I got it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, prospering is a good thing because you definitely, you definitely out here prospering. You think so? I'm trying to get like you. You think so? I'm trying to prosper like you. Why? Try. I'm trying to prosper in my craft like you prospering in your craft. Hey, man, all I know I'm is trying consistency. To, I'm, trying to, <laughs> you're, I'm trying to prosper in my craft like you. You're prospering in your craft like you. You hear me? That's a fucking bar. Dom the Monk, yes, like you're like literally that. prospering in your, in your in your in your path mm, in your craft like you. That's I mean, we say that a lot. I be saying that shit too. Oh, I want to be just like such and such. It don't necessarily be. Nah, cause it, I don't really. It ain't that we really want to be like you. Yeah. It's like that's like the ultimate compliment in the black in the in in, it, in our community. It is, and I feel it every time. But I be like, nigga, I struggle with this yeah. prospect with it, like. What? All this yeah, attention? But that's the so all people see is the finished product. Man, listen. So even with like literally this. So people don't see that you gotta do all this different shit. You got all these cameras, you gotta edit, you gotta motherfucking make sure the sound quality right, you gotta make sure the video quality right, you gotta make sure that the content is good, you gotta make sure you paying attention to the little details, you literally. gotta make sure that the, the people around you doing what they supposed to do to make sure everything is working. They That's don't the see finished product. It. Literally. So when you go watch, let's say the Avengers, you mm -hmm. go watch the Avengers, yeah, that shit is woo woo woo. But that's what you see, but you don't see that that shit took three years for them <sighs> niggas to make a three hour movie. I'm talking about that shit about... took three years to make a three hour movie. And that's just from the, the production standpoint. Alone. That ain't got shit to do with the writing no. of it, mm -mm. the ideas coming up Come with on. the characters. Changing shit, molding shit, all this that. Is that. Literally. It's Literally. just a different craft, but this is that. Yeah, the so, people. That's what I say. I'm. I appreciate that. Thank you so yeah. much. But the craft behind it, the work behind it, yeah, consistency. If we, if in in comedy, a lot of people don't want to continue to go to open mics or nothing like that. Well, yeah. you better go to them open mics. This so shit can, is not riding. Well, I'm not gonna say this shit because I don't do comedy. But mm -hmm. that shit is not riding a bike. It's not. No. Just because you funny to your friends, that don't yeah. mean shit. Boy, you better learn how nah. to be. And even like, articulate. Not to cut you off, my mm -hmm. bad. But even like. Who we consider legends. Mm -hmm. Them niggas don't just go have specials. Nah, they go to motherfucking comedy, the little comedy club, Chitlin Circuit shits, and see if they still got if it. it. Works. And I'm talking about the Chris Rocks, the Eddie Murphys, the motherfucking Kevin you, Hart's, you all of them. them. Mm -hmm. They Kev go to the dirtiest, grungiest motherfucking comedy clubs. Dave Chappelle, still right now, one of the biggest. He still goes to the underground comedy clubs to, to get his shit off, to make sure. Sit on that stool that and smoke his cigarettes it. and get busy, literally. I Literally. really be feeling like that he's lecturing the shit out of me when I be listening to him talk. Yeah, he's a. He's I've a seen. Great, he's a great talker. Yeah, I've seen this nigga live. Yo, man. and and I ain't, I ain't gonna spend too much time. Yo, but like his mind, he's like the way he like approaches like life, is out of this world. Dave Chappelle it's, is everything that they tried to tell you that hippies were. Yeah, he <laughs> we're supposed to be, because he, he really is. just understands shit, yo. And life is really. Ten times more simple than we all make it. It's way more simple. This shit is like. That's why I said, be yourself. Be your being yourself is simple. Trying to be somebody else is the hardest shit ever. Yeah. Your tribe will find you. Your craft will prosper in your consistency. Just be yourself, yeah. and believe in yourself. That's one thing I be trying to tell everybody. Yeah. Believe in yourself. It's okay to be nervous and anxious for certain shit, but believe in your damn self. Because if you live in that what ifs or it can go wrong, it, but nigga, it could go right though. Yeah, it could really go right. Yeah, I don't know. So I be feeling different sometimes. It's gonna happen the way it's meant to. That's it. And it might be meant to happen for you for the like to go right, but you don't, you're not doing it. You'll never know. You'll never know. That's why life. And you're gonna be fucking seventy years old looking back like, yo, I wonder if I, what what would have happened if I and I try to live off of that now, so I don't have no what ifs at the end of my shit. Come on now. You no, know I'm saying That's so real. it's like, damn, what if I would have just. That's literally where I'm at yeah. as well. Now, if it's some dumb shit like you think about robbing the bank, you should probably not. What if I would have just... Uh, nah, <laughs> even though right now in Danville, Virginia... Hold on. There's one bank that's been robbed twice within the last six months. The black man and the white man both got away. What if I be a black woman to rob it? But never mind. That's a whole nother... <laughs> oh, they gonna what catch your ass. <laughs> Nigga, I can run. I can run a little bit. They gonna catch you. Yeah, because that's, that's not me. I don't know how to do that. 
I don't know how to. I would actually take the money and just. You know what? My fault. I'm sorry. Here y'all go right here. I ain't. I don't I'm going to see if I can do it. Yeah. Like, I, I ain't really want the money. I just nah, wanted to see I'm if I can do it. Actually, shit. I got money in my pocket right now. I'm okay. I don't even need it. Yeah. Nah, I don't me. have no money in my Because they're going to take that. They're going to assume they're that shit. They're not going to take my money. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> You're going to jail behind that one. The shit in the pocket because this is my last. And I done gave you this. I didn't get you this eighty thousand back. You trying to take my last? Why two, would you take my last two dollars and eighty three cent? I need this. This is two hundred and sixteen dollars. I got this shit. Got to last me into my next situation. Nah, nah, you can't have this. No, don't take that part. <laughs> don't take that one. I'm sorry. I, I was just playing. Damn, I just want to see if I can do it. That's but, how I feel about it. But yeah, nah. So um, <laughs> being uh, you know, in the mental health field, mm. in the mental health advocate, you actually like literally work in that shit. Like you're yes. not. Yes. Just an advocate, like you're actually certified yes. to work in the mental health field. So, like, how much do you feel? And I, I know your answer, but I definitely want to hear your breakdown of the answer. How much do you feel that comedy ties into mental health? I literally want to come up with a section of the DSM <laughs> manual for mental health about humor. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to input that because Patch Adams. I never seen that. I need to watch it. I'm I'm tripping on that. Okay. It's a classic. Um and it's Robin Williams. So yeah, it might it be is. a little harder to watch, but it's I not know. hard like it's bad. It's a great movie, but yeah. You know what I'm I know what you're talking about. Um, but I mean, you see the content of it, but it's fucking phenomenal. You'll love you I know you, I know your mind, you would mm-hmm. love that shit. But now nah, go ahead. I'm pretty sure I would in real life. Um I literally use humor. Every single day with my clients. I've been working in mental health since 2017. But if you really want to be technical outside of like certifications and college degrees, mm-hmm. we've all been working in mental health our whole life. Our whole life. In real life. For sure. So um, to deal, not even to deal with them, to try to help these individuals every day is hard. Yeah. And if you don't have any type of humor in your body or yeah. a lighter side to the situation, it's going to it's gonna burn you out. Definitely. It's going to burn you Absolutely out. Absolutely burn so, you out. So I literally use humor every day with my with my clients. Yeah. Either singing songs in the car, doing karaoke, something to make them be like, Ooh, okay, I yeah. can be I can really be myself with Miss Stephanie because she crazy as hell for real. Yeah. She's funny. She makes me feel comfortable. So I can talk about this and, and she genuine. won't judge me. And it's yeah. very genuine. Yeah. Very genuine. So absolutely one thousand percent. Um I feel like people need to laugh every day in real life. I was like, I mean, at the same time, you still got to hold yourself accountable. You got to be able to um, be aware of whatever triggers you have, whatever emotions that you have. But at the same time, laugh about it because you're still here. You know what I'm saying? You're still here to be able to get through that a little bit at a time every day. Yeah, That's what I feel like, man. I just, people don't laugh as much. A lot of people, a lot of the individuals in, in that need help for real, for real, and yeah. aren't afraid to ask for help. Um, they come. They still live in a defensive place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like because it's so like you know, a lot of us are still trying to normalize mental health. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So a lot of people are in that place because like people will falsely advocate for it, and then some mental health shit really happened, and then they write that shit off or it go viral, and then the comment section is <laughs> like it gets crazy. So people are like yo, I don't. <laughs> When you got 50-50, when you dealing with something like that, like, that's too high of a motherfucking, mm-hmm. that's that's too even of, of good and bad for some people to, to deal with. Now, I can see if the good, you know, the good comments, you know, the people that's advocating, telling you to keep pushing on, giving you jokes and shit, it's like maybe 80. Mm-hmm. And then only like 20% of people is like, ain't shit wrong, you know. Mm-hmm. You know the stigmas behind it. Mm-hmm. Then it's a little different because you can probably, some people still wouldn't be able to look past the 20. Right. Some people can't look past 1%. Literally. You know what I'm saying? It's like the people who fucking, a thousand comments praising them and this one person that's like, ah, they ain't all that. That's the one comment that mm-hmm. everybody gonna, gonna take jump it. on. Mm-hmm. But at the like, same time. who the fuck are you, the audacity of you to, you know what I'm saying? So, like some people, so when it comes to shit like that, some people can't take that. So that's why some people still like hide it and still try to downplay that they have it or not or 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 aren't open about having mental health shit. Because we have to learn how to mentally separate those two different lives. You've mm-hmm. never met this person a day in your life. You don't even know what they look like. Yeah. Why does why does it bother you? Yeah. And they can come from 
past trauma. It can come from a motherfucker walking down the street, looking at you sideways, thinking that yeah. you know they that you did something wrong. It's it is a scary place to be when you are not totally aware of how to you know manage your own mental health. And then being in the actual system itself. There's not a lot of resources for everybody, so yeah. everyone is. They, we are doing it on our own, independently, going to our, going through our friends or whatever. But it's hard. Yeah, it's really hard. And to normalize it, I don't think we need to normalize it. I just think we just need to be fuck it, being like normal. Just let it be, if that makes sense. No, but you know that's, that's kind of one and the same. That's what I mean by normalizing. Like, like that's what I mean by it. So it's it's still like. In oh. certain spaces, mental health is still taboo. Yeah, it is. It is. Like that's the that's what I mean. When I say normalize it, I, I get, mean that. So So make it not a thing where it's where we sitting here talking about talking about it like we talking about it. Yeah. Because it's a normal thing. Like it is very like just, motherfuckers getting sick. Like niggas don't it is it's like cancer or, you know, whatever. Cause the the shit is a sickness at the end of the day. But it's for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's um I wish I knew where to start with it, like as far as like how we could just address it as a whole, just for us, you know, black people. Because mm -hmm. um, it could be from the black man, the black woman. It could be from child inherited trauma or yeah. anything. But we just, got a lot of different fucking directions we can look. Literally, and there's, some, and there's some shit that would cause us to. We got PTSD, seeing niggas dying nigga, around us, nigga. I'm working Seems on my like all kind of different shit. I'm working on my claim right now. My disability <laughs> claim from the military right now. I went to go talk to that lady and I damn near cried in that bitch cuz black people love talking to the lady. <laughs> the lady boy, black people love talking to the lady. I'm stealing that. That's a part of <laughs> that's a part of my creative content right there. When I say cuz it's always the lady. It is. And it's the wild shit is we always be knowing who exactly who the lady is. The lady dark skin. Yeah. No, she not the lady her. herself, but we know who, like, when you Absolutely. say I talk to the lady, we yeah. know if it's the lady at the motherfucking doctor's office or the lady at your law. We gonna know who the lady is. I needed that. The therapist, whatever the case. Niggas Listen, know who the lady is. I talked to the lady, and she asked me, I, don't, I can't remember the exact way she worded the question, but it made me like, shit, wait a minute, hold on now. <laughs> you know, and I look at myself as a very strong person, but that's a wound that I closed up because I ain't never want to deal with that shit no more, never yeah. again. But nigga, and then for me, who on, who my therapist? Yeah. So that wound won't close. It still had a scab. Yo, on man, it. I'm talking about it's still there. But that's the thing. So sometimes we think the shit is healed, but it's it's really just a scab. You know what? I and think. What and you know what happens when you pick up the scab? It's gonna start bleeding. It's gonna get. It's gonna bust wide open all over again. So that's yeah. it. I'm talking about people think being healed is being born, having a boring life. Not even boring, but just a life full of like no drama, nothing like that. If you aren't utilizing anything that you're learning. And everyday everyday life, as far as healing, you don't know if you healed yet at all. Cause yeah. I don't know if I've healed from putting my hands on a nigga sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You look like you beat your niggas. Up. I used to. I put my hands on like a couple niggas back in the day, but that's neither here nor there. Cause For no reason too. No, it was a reason. It was a reason. They had me fucked up. That's not a reason. It's definitely a reason. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed my boundary. And I let you cross it a little bit, but then you got, you know what I'm saying? Did a nigga know he crossed your boundary, or did he find out after you start punching him in his shit? The last one, he did not know <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> he didn't know that he crossed that boundary until he woke up 2 o'clock in the morning. Go ahead. Sorry. We can't talk about domestic violence up here. Oh, the case still pending. <laughs> <laughs> He never took me to court. So you still, he never. You still, this shit still open. You still, uh, nah, we good. Can't incriminate you know what I'm yourself. Nah. I'm like, hey, you need me to delete? I'm not gonna. Nah, hey. we good, nigga. <laughs> you see, my back got real big to talk about. You know what I'm saying? We good. Nigga. Talking that boss shit. You know okay, what I'm I saying? See you squared up. Got the boss. Got the boss. I man settled that shit. shit. Like, we yeah. good. Oh damn! Benito. Rest in peace to that man. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, B. Rest in peace to that man. No, but we do. We do. We. I'm stuttering like shit off that damn Jim Bean. I feel like the more we read and we don't apply the shit, that's what's going to have everybody fucked up. Because we be out here spitting facts all day. Oh, well, yeah. you know, if you meditate, this will do this. But do you meditate? You know, if you go to bed at a certain time, you, do but, you do these things? And also, yo, so with meditating, um, that shit ain't just sitting in the quiet room thinking to yourself. Like, no, that it's shit not. is really like, you got to really be locked in on that shit. I'm talking shit, about. Though. 
meditating, knowing how to meditate in your own way, because everybody just don't do the hmm shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you really got to free your motherfucking you have to, mind. And like it's, you really have to. Yeah. It's hard for people who mentally can't shut down. You, if you can't shut down mentally on some, yeah. like like you said, quieting and all that. It's oh, I mean, well. according to my exes, I do that very well. Oh, yeah, because you come off like you're nonchalant mentally. and you don't. I I mean, I kind of am. Yeah. But I just like, I don't I don't like to let minuscule shit bother me because I got other bigger shit bothering me. So Yeah, it's but like, I don't... what about if it's bigger shit to the other person? Can we solve it? Then let's solve it. Why the fuck are we even... Like, what purpose do we have to argue about? Are you a solution-based person? Absolutely, 100%. Do you always solve problems? Do you always come like that? I try. Like that? I, al- that's, that's, I always try to. Really? Sure. What if someone came to you just to vent? Do you try to solve their problems yeah. when they're venting? Not probably in the moment. Um, but I know how to read the room, though. Okay. No, I know how to read the room. Okay. Cause, but if they venting to me about a problem, I'm going to probably try to give them solutions. Really? You know what I I found myself. This is a part of my no, own. But like mental. I said, I know how to read the room because I know some people don't want solutions. They really just want you to listen to them and then walk the fuck off. Like, yeah. Let me just talk it out. And I I I think I feel like I'm that person because like we'll be at a kickback and mm-hmm. somehow I end up on the couch with a motherfucker and I done found out about everything about her. You have don't a, even know her fucking name and I'll probably never see her again. You have a very um. Which is mad wild to say that you have a very comforting spirit, but then you nonchalant as fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's definitely the opposite. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. not. But you do. You have an opening, warming. Well, maybe maybe my nonchalance is. What, I think it's your what, Tavis what? smiley eyes. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> that might be what comforts them, though. Yeah. It's different. And you, you know, this, you're given posture. You're given, yeah. I'm listening to you. Oh, God. That is, you know, that's a, a turn on, John. <laughs> I mean, I got to get this content out, so I got to listen. <sighs> I fucked it up. I fucked it all up. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. But it's good though. Nah, nah. Um, they, we just. Yeah, I'm, I'm a professional at telling jokes at the wrong time. It's okay. I can handle it. That's me. Um, it's okay. I can handle it. <laughs> I just think that um, I don't think communication is key. Comprehension is key, not Comprehension. communication. Because everybody can communicate. Yeah. It's I can tell under- you a hundred times, yo, that book bag is over there. But if I'm not telling you what the fuck to comprehend of why I'm telling you the book bag is over there, then you knowing the book bag over there. So co- communication is like only a quarter of that shit. Mm-hmm. Comprehension is I, everything. It's everything. And you know what? I found myself in the place of... uh. I need I needed my comprehension is like a little slow. I'm a little <laughs> I'm a little laggy. Okay, I'm a little laggy. So do you like uh are you slow like I'm slow? Cause like what I do is like somebody will say something to me mm-hmm. and I'll ask them what they said, and then halfway through them saying it, I tell them what they just said. Like that, I do that shit a lot. That's where I'm at. That's yeah. literally. So we where okay. I'm at. That's a bet. Is that a it might be some green run shit. It might be. <laughs> Virginia Beach Public School. It might just be some green. It was green eleven run high shit. schools out there. For sure. They didn't, you know, it was the quality, it wasn't yeah. all the way there. But that's that's literally what I do. Or I will, when I, so it's certain like little small shit about myself that I noticed. And I think a lot of people should understand this. When you get, when I get triggered or if I'm really anxious about something, I'll bite my, I'll do this, right? Like an old person? <laughs> yeah, like I can't wait to lose my teeth so I can just. Just chew on nothing all yeah, day? Yeah, that's exactly where I want to live at. Or I will ball my feet up. In my sh- in my shoes. I don't know why I wasn't expecting feet to come out because I'm looking at your hands. <laughs> why the fuck you ball your hand up? And I'll ball my feet up. <laughs> my feet up. Yeah. Like, like right now. Is that what they look like when they ball up? Or yeah. they look like this? Like nah. Fucking. So. Like badger hands. It's that. Yeah. They, they'll ball like right now. It's balled. You up. picture that with your feet? Like I you do. Be I, walking through the house like this. Yeah. And you. I will grab my cat's tail with my feet, and she be like. Rawr! So, so like when you pick shit up, like how you pick it up? Do you bring it up the front way or you lean back and grab it? Like how you? Um, I have to bend down. What do you like? like a, you grab it, you kick it up. I can't throw it up. Catch it? No, I can't. One of these, I can't do that with it. But I will definitely pick up and just go down like this one of them right there, <laughs> and I'll make that noise. <laughs> so, but those are the type of things that I've noticed yeah. about myself as far as like comprehending and communicating at the same time because mm-hmm. my body will do certain shit 
Um, and it's crazy because I really think it came from me not like stopping smoking. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit has changed. Um, trying to be healthy. That's another thing that we do. We we we're doing mental health. We're trying to eat better. It's a lot of it's a lot of positive things we're trying to do when we got to take it slow. Yeah, I don't think we got to take it slow. I think you got to not give a fuck about what's around you because you know you only you you notice like only like the good positive shit is the shit people like fry you about. Like if you pull up somewhere with the greasiest fried whatever. Mm-hmm. Niggas would be like, yo, where you get that? Mm-hmm. You pull up with a... This nigga got a salad. Fuck. I literally have yeah. a joke like, based off this that. This nigga got a salad, bro. Life. Like, I bet you do. I need my 10% fame. <laughs> I need my, I need, this is the part of I me where I feel 10, like I I'm a comedic 10%. genius. I'm a, I need my 10%. Because I know this little shit like that. I do have a joke like that. We do. But we, well, yeah, that's the thing. Or like, if we was in here chilling and all that was here was this, mm-hmm. niggas will leave. This shit, yeah. this shit boring. Mm-hmm. But of course, you know that, that body would... That so, bottle's probably going to make a fight start, but... <laughs> it is. Just My other liquor. Like, just liquor itself, though. Like, no, nah, we ain't... Nigga, pull something up on the joint. Let's... Boo, boo, everybody chilling. Everybody rocking. Yeah. So... That's why I made that post um a while... Maybe a couple days ago about respecting your friend's boundaries mm-hmm. and respecting their disciplines. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a tough place to be. And and that, yeah. and it wasn't just merely about drinking or not smoking it could be the foods they eat if pe- yeah. if your friend don't eat pork no more stop trying to give them goddamn pork chop sandwiches yeah. and stop trying to yo and people i've noticed a lot of shit when people say they don't eat pork they all it's always like extra shit from somebody else so it's like but you smoke cigarettes or you drink or you drink liquor so who gives a fuck bro it's and that, like regardless if they don't want something in their body what just because they put other shit in their body that you may feel is worse if they don't feel that way then why the fuck do you care why for what? That's why I say for me, I yeah. take it slow. Because I stopped eating pork a long time ago. Oh, you must be Muslim. I'm not yeah. actually. And if they was actually real Christians like they claim they is, they would know that eating pork is uh, in Very the Bible. Bad. Like not yeah. eating pork is in the Bible too. So. so, you know. But you know, they the Bible, you get to pick and choose what part of it you want to follow. Everything. <laughs> everything. You get to pick and choose. Everything. But yeah. Um, That's a whole nother, you know, the people. Let me stop. You know niggas love it. Yeah. Black, they love it. Black people love uh, it, Jesus. You better not. Because you. Because uh, yeah. you. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, black people. They love him. They adore yeah. him. I can't talk about no chakras. I can't talk about no, this that's right devil, here. That's devil shit. It's all of it. You hear me? That's devil shit. It all is, but whatever. No, nah, but that's that's the difference though. So that's life. Cross, it is. Cross is death. They literally are. Let me stop, man. I'm, Come on, let's go. Because I want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go. I'm there. gonna get to. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm be, trying to stay out of my. They call it conspiracy. I'm trying to stay out of my conspiracy bag tonight. We laughing. This. Yeah, is, we are. This, <laughs> I don't want. I don't want that interview to be this. I'm not ready to show yeah, that side. Yet. I just don't need a bunch of motherfuckers in my goddamn inbox talking about. You's a fucking nut, nigga. Nut, like, nigga. <laughs> Play one more time. <laughs> You's a fucking nut, nigga. I just feel like this right here. As soon as that come on, n- lip just. Oh, yeah. What happened to your shit? That is powerful niggardry at work here. Yeah. Always powerful niggardry. Powerful at niggardry. At work, here. <laughs> him, him. Not here, him. One more time, at work, what? Him. Mm. Yeah. That's when you know you real black. That's how it's wild that Uncle Brock was like, because don't know white man say him. Shut them niggas in Louisiana. White people yeah. in Louisiana, they do. They do. They There's definitely a... say him. What? <laughs> they definitely they say him. They sound so so black to that me. That motherfucking cornbread. Do you hear me? <laughs> that motherfucking cornbread. These motherfuckers out here sound black as fuck, for real, for real. But I digress. I was, <laughs> I was, I was thinking about some other wild shit, B, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go back to New Orleans. You been in New Orleans before? I used to live there, not in New Orleans itself, but I was. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Twenty seventeen. How long you were there? About a year, almost a year. Really? Where in New Orleans? That's why I said I wasn't in New Orleans. I was probably 30 minutes outside of New Orleans. So where were you? So, like, across the Pontius train. When that's I do, that's the long-ass bridge for the people who... When I do that, that means I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the long-ass bridge. So how, how often you go to, have you been I've been, New so I can't even say a lot because I've only been there twice, but I went okay. two times within a six-month span, eight-month span. I got you. Yeah. So yeah, cause so and it was very touristy. you got the like the surrounding shit. You got Slidell, then you got Covington, and okay, you got Covington. That's where Theo Vaughn is from. Yeah, so that's like that's on the other side of the bridge. <sighs> gotcha. Okay. So, but you know, if most of them niggas go out of town, they ask where they from, they gonna say New Orleans. Absolutely, one thousand percent. Like that's Atlanta, the, it's the, like yeah, it's the same. 
this how is where Northern it's Virginia niggas they all say they from DC even yeah. though they actually never been to the city unless it was on the field trip. Like it's, it's <laughs> you're from Manassas, my nigga, and there's nothing wrong with being from Manassas. Rep your shit. Do you know? You don't gotta I lie and say you from. I'm talking because it sounds cooler. You know what I mean? When I tell people I'm from Virginia Beach, you know what they say to me? Oh, you from Norfolk? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm actually from Virginia Beach, where I said I was from. <laughs> oh, you must be from Newport News. That ain't even close. That, like, <laughs> at least name some shit that's a little closer. They don't know. I, you know, I, you know, where I, I mean, because right? it's because Newport, Newport News. You know, you give off that new, that bad news vibe. Why do you keep trying to say you what kind like, of vibe I give off? You shoot niggas. I don't. You, you already said you beat niggas up. This I feel like you the, shot that, one of them niggas. No. Shot at. You just the missed. first Your time I shot a ass. the first time I shot a pistol was at a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> they trying to put incriminating shit on me. <laughs> first time I shot a pistol, I held that shit like a fucking gunshot. You know what I'm saying? I hope like it a, hit you in the forehead. Like a kill shot. No, I hope that shit fucking... recoil and bust you in your fucking noodle. <laughs> I said, "Boo!" And that shit gave me <laughs> the fucking recoil shit. I said, "Oh shit." So I'm cap- glad you ain't like when it shot and you did that and then shot again. I didn't and blew your fucking eardrum. No, no, no. The captain at the time, because this I shot this in Afghanistan, which was very it's not that long ago. Well, maybe like ten years ago. So you was in Afghanistan shooting niggas? No, oh, he had let us shoot his pistol. I was only used to shooting rifles and I had never shot the pistol before. So when he let me shoot it, I was going crazy. I was like, oh shit. Like real movie shit. He was like, Blanchard, give me give, give me a gun. That's give not movie gun. shit. That's Yeah, that's how I was acting. <laughs> no, but but in your mind, it was movie shit, but in reality, <laughs> that shit was not movie shit at all. It was very much movie. It definitely gave Mike Epps. It gave what it was supposed to give. Yes. I, there you go. Sassiness. Look at that. Hey, yo, chill out. Very sass. Chill out. It was all sass. I that's, don't even know how to be sassy. Though. That's sassy girl that talk. That's city girl talk. It gave what it was supposed to give. Mm-hmm. I only did that because of what you said earlier. It's the shot for me. That shit funny as hell. I, so I'm never saying for me nothing. <laughs> And that gave shit. I'm probably never gonna say that. I only said it because it's okay. I, had to. It's I bring. I know what type of. I know what type of energy I bring out of certain people. And sometimes with the niggas, it so be, you bring the sassy out of niggas. Sometimes. That's sometimes. What you saying you because saying you I'm bring, cool. You know, you what bring what I'm the sassy out of niggas. Yeah. One of my. I think he told me I could talk about it. One of my best friends talked to me like that, and it's only with me. Mm. And he was like, "Yeah, you can use it." I said, "Nigga, I really don't need your permission, but I'm glad you gave it to me because he." <laughs> That's where I got my city girl quote joke from, from him. Because he'd be like, okay, bitch, it's there for me. And I'd be like, <laughs> chill. Not too much on that. Like, don't talk to me like that, bitch. So, all right. All right. So, I know. Um, so, one thing that's dope, though, like, that I've definitely noticed about you is you love showing love to people. Yeah. Like, you love showing love to people, like, even if it's, like, little shit, like, you took your mom on tour with you, let her... I can perform, mm-hmm. perform her music, mm-hmm. open for you, stuff like that, or not just open for you, but maybe perform in the middle of your set, whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. Like, but I noticed that you try to like also aspire to put people on, mm-hmm. and it's like you know most people be like nigga, I ain't even on like I want to be on yet. Mm-hmm. Let me get there first. But you like nah, nigga. I mean, fuck it. If you pass me, you pass me. If not, you not. But I got you. Like if I see an opportunity for you, I'm gonna put that shit your way. So like everybody's not like that. So like that's like. I feel I feel like that's that's a great quality. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um that kind of that's a part of my people and skills. Yeah. Cuz my mom and dad, especially big more importantly my father. My dad literally used to tell me this when I was little. Always show love. Always. He said because you have the spirit of people are going to naturally come to you and tell you a lot of stuff. He said, just always show love. I don't care what it looked like. Um, just be nice to people, show love. Tell them the truth when they need to hear it. Mm-hmm. But that comes from a place of, um, like you said, I just want to see people win. It's good to see. Why? I don't want to, I can't, I don't have to have all of this to myself. Yeah. I don't have to, I can. I need to share this love to everybody. So each yeah. one teach one type shit. Like, yeah. And she, I'm a, the real reason she's trying to put y'all alone so y'all can make money so y'all don't got to ask her for nothing. That's what you think. Is that what I said? Is that what I gave? We're not. We're not looking the camera. <laughs> we. That's the truth. It's like, on that yo. part, I need you to. I need you to zoom in on me like goddamn the office. Is that what I said? So but, nah, that's what. That's what it is. That's I, why I'm try, That's why I try to get the people around me rich. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody around me rich. So, so they don't ask you for shit. I mean, they you, don't have a reason to now. Right. They I mean, and that, then we can all and then, share. And they can go feed thirty people that they don't. Nobody. They don't 
have to worry about asking them for shit. And I then they go 30, and then now we all up. It's a pyramid scheme, if you think about it. A little bit. Little no, if we pyramid, and I need 10% okay. of for each motherfucking person. That's you you always want 10% of something. <laughs> but no, man, showing love yeah. is just the way, man. Nah, it is, man. And that's the case, man. Like, people don't even know how much shit I've sent their way. Mm-hmm. Without care. saying anything. No, like, I've definitely had people hit me, yo, I'm looking for, and it might be something that, like, I could probably do it. Mm-hmm. But I know I can't really. And, and the person that's asking me, I fuck with them enough to, like, I ain't even going to experiment with your shit because if it don't come out right. Right. I'm going to send you to somebody I know can do that shit for you. Absolutely. Yo, hit such and such. You ain't got to tell them you know. Boom. I only say, I only tell them to name drop me if it's going to really help them more. Yeah. Like, yo, Josh sent me or whatever the yeah. case. But if me being involved don't mean shit, if it's just some genuine shit, like, I need, I need such, oh, yeah. I send people to, I send niggas people all the time. You know who I really learned that from? My brother. Yeah. That guy right there is... He's a sociopath, but that's my nigga. No, I just seen him eating nachos with a spoon. I'm... First of all, not too much on him, okay? Let's start <laughs> That's here. my nigga, though. For sure. I Actually, I don't even feel like... I don't feel right calling him my nigga. That's, what you mean? That's, my, that's, that's a strong black man At, right let, there. Call him a nigga. A strong... call, you can call him that. <laughs> call him that, because that nigga get on my nerves every motherfucking day. But I can tell you uh, some really wow. good qualities about my brother. He has friends in high places based off the mere fact of putting people on, like just literally, yeah. like literally. He's done that in the. Clearly, he's not a comedian, but he think he funny, corny as shit. He be you mad because he be cooking you on your own shit sometimes. He's a troll, and he only trolls me. But he does such a good job at it. He's gotten better over the years, and it's pissing me off. But it works. Practice. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to him and credit repair. I've seen him from the bottom and work his way to the top. Yeah. And he literally has friends in high places. My very first show in Ohio was because of him. And it was my third comedy show. Yeah. Who who you know? How you how you do this? How you do this? He promotes the shit out of me yeah. and I love that. Yo, and the crazy shit about Steve, <laughs> he'll make you like no, no, nigga. I got the video right here of my sister. <laughs> <laughs> watch it. Ain't he gonna hold listen, you the whole time me, while you watch it? Can I shit. look? I'm about to put my brother on blast right now. You good? I'm about <laughs> to put. I'm about to put Steven on blast. Like you right almost now. had a flashback. On. Nah, cause I, I, I you know I what? My, my little. I want to smoke. My I want to smoke. I want to smoke. My football. <laughs> I definitely don't want you to goddamn grab me. I duke it. Grab you know me saying? by my throat with your foot. I don't I want could, no. Whew, you look like you choke niggas with your feet. With one foot too. Nah, and one of these toenails right now is not giving, and it'll give. It'll give you that Jamaican smiley face type shit. Anyway, yeah. um, this is. I don't know how people are gonna take. I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Not say it's it. not a bad thing. Not say it. My never. brother has never been to a show. He only yeah. seen me host. But so it's 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 not a bad thing only because of the circumstances behind why he hasn't been. And you know what? Yeah. That's what I have to say cuz a lot of people are like, "Oh yeah, I know Steve would love your comedy." I'm like, "Nah, he, I mean, it's not that he don't love it. He just, you know, he never seen it. He's yeah. never he never seen it." But at the same time, my brother don't want to hear me talk about certain shit on stage. That's why I Yeah, I don't want to hear my sister talk about getting folded up like a fucking organ. Yeah, that's why I don't so, talk about that kind of stuff no more. <laughs> I don't I don't talk about it anymore. So but I really, I've really learned a lot from him. My brother knows that I'm a very sensitive person sometimes, and he, he's the one in my corner to be like, Steph, this is what you got to do. Set your boundary. F them people, even though he don't cuss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's my, that's my motherfucking dog right there. I love my brother to death in real life. So, <laughs> Steven, I love you. What's your punk ass? Oh, yeah. Clap it up for motherfucking I was about to bring it up, but... <laughs> what? Steven said... Y'all had, you know what I'm saying, a little situation back in the day. I don't it won't no fight, it won't nothing like that. It was like a small, small beef. Nah, it won't really no beef. It wasn't. Okay. Misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding. And it won't over no bitch. Cause you know it wasn't. It's usually usually with two niggas beefing, it's over bitches over money. Yeah. And we was in high school, so it won't yeah. really no money coming yeah. here. It won't it won't no money to beef over. <laughs> <laughs> it was some Not it was some out of the way shit though. But, yeah, it was some yeah. out of the way shit. And uh I don't really it really won't about nothing. Right. Like, literally won't about nothing. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what he told me. I just, that's, it my, was, that's my it, dog now. It is. But that was me being nosy. Yeah. That was just, you know. <laughs> and we chop was. it up. And that just lets you know, like, but you know how some shit, sometimes, like, 
when it's an issue, it's just an issue. Mm-hmm. And even though neither one of y'all probably remember why it's an issue, but mm-hmm. it's like, nigga, I know I got an issue with this nigga. So if I see him, I'm on defense mode around him. And right. of course, the other nigga probably thinking the same way. Right. So both of y'all just don't, neither one of y'all right. know why the fuck y'all on defense mode. But it's like, as niggas, it's like, I'm not going to be, I'm kissing, I'm fuck him. I'm not saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. But that's not. Sometimes it's just a, sometimes a simple conversation. And these young niggas need to learn this shit too. Sometimes I'm, a simple Conversation can let you know that shit ain't that deep. It ain't being pussy. If if both if both people feel like a lot of these young niggas feel like squashing beef is copping, please. It's not, and it's not the same. It's saving your life. Sometimes shit, or which one way to or to somebody around you life, because you know these niggas can't shoot. They can't. They shooting Ooh. at they hitting whoever. So like it, how I did. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna say that, but yeah. So <laughs> they um, you know what I'm saying. So they hitting whoever they just. Yeah, we don't got time and, for that. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times, like a simple conversation could have mulled everything over. It's the same thing for women too, though. Yeah. Like literally, it be in th- women fight though. Y'all are scrap. Niggas ain't really fighting like that. Girls still fight. They still be out here fighting. I mean, that's all the videos I see on the timeline. For real, girls fighting. I don't really see niggas fighting. All I see niggas doing is shooting. They don't fight no more unless they in the fucking ring on TV. You right. You right. I don't know if I've seen. I don't know. I can't even think about the last time I seen a bitch fight. Women fight because they actually want to fight. Niggas fight most of the time over ego. Yeah. So of course you fighting over ego. You don't want a nigga recording, especially if you if you think you might lose. Get niggas your... ain't niggas ain't trying to take the chance of losing that fight and the shit going on the internet because you know niggas biggest fear is being on the ground in the headlock and hearing world star. That is out of this world. <laughs> but that's the truth. So that's a lot trash. of niggas, a lot of niggas, that's it's not in them. They can't just take that L. I take an L. Life go on. It does. Life Live to on. fight it's another day. That. That's what Pop said. Come on now, put your dukes down. Yo, cause this, you know how many people I've seen get beat up on video? Like that shit don't matter no more. It don't. It only matter like the however long the video is. That, those seconds while you watching it. Literally, but you know one fight that will all that will last forever. That goddamn Alabama brawl. Oh <laughs> yeah, no <Nah>, we. <laughs> That shit need to go in the history books, for sure. <laughs> it's going to last forever. <laughs> that shit needs to go in the history that books. That is going to last forever. I still makes my heart smile for that shit. But no, these men, these, it's just people too sensitive. They just think too much. Yeah. And everybody wants to live in the past, which is depression. Or people want to live in the future, which is anxiety. Just be here, right here. Yeah. Did I say that right? No, you said it right. Okay. Because the, sure. present, the present is a present. Like right it's now, diff. you know what I'm saying? It is, and um, that's real cliche, but but that's all yo, you ever but have. That shit is really like, right now is the only shit that actually matters. Right now, because you instant. can plan for the future and die tomorrow, literally, or you can fucking never plan for the future and hit every fucking plateau that you ever supposed to hit, and you ain't made no plan. It's like so, it's your path is just your path. That's it. So, of course, I'm not saying to not plan for the future or not live in the moment, but living in the moment is way more important. Way more important. Because That's... tomorrow, this shit is the past now. We can't come back and redo this we and can't. make it exactly how it is. So, like, it's... This is what it is right now. That's it. You have to live in the moment. So, the future is some shit that ain't happened yet or may not happen. That's where a lot of fear comes from because you in your that, mind. That's like, anxiety, yeah, man. Literally. I mean, I have anxiety, so. I know. I really can tell. Bad. So I can tell, yeah. which is mad wild that I can see it. Don't be over here diagnosing me. Oh, man. I'm not diagnosing you. I'm just telling you. New, I'm just letting you know what I can see. You nah, know what but, I'm saying? That's nah. real shit though. Like just right now, just yeah. The people don't do that. I be trying to school these young niggas, bro. I be trying to school them, but you know, they all oh, you don't know nothing in the day. Yeah. But well, that's I, the thing though, you. Because, I mean, we we. I hate to sound like the old the niggas in front of us, but we listen. Yeah. But nah, but we did listen to the old heads. Like, but now these kids, everything is like money based. So what I mean by that is like these young niggas is getting money at rates that a lot of niggas in their thirties and forties and fifties and shit, even beyond, have never seen at one time. Literally. So these niggas is teenagers and in their twenties, regardless of how they getting it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But they getting it. Mm-hmm. So a lot of them like nigga. I got you more money t- than you. What the you fuck can you tell me? You can't tell but me shit. Mm-hmm. That money don't equate to life experiences. I can I I can tell you some shit that, yeah, it might not 
directly affect you, but it might trigger something in you later that like, oh shit, oh. I see the signs of something that's going on. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, money ain't gonna buy you wisdom. It ain't gonna buy you none of that shit. It ain't. It's yeah. not. It's though it's like it's like sports. Like okay. some coaches have never played. Or they were trash when they did play. But they can they can goddamn get you to the Bill Belichick. Show me his show me his stats. I don't know. They, they, nobody sure he doesn't, does. He doesn't Bill Belichick that. doesn't know his fucking mm-hmm. stats. You can tell me his coaching resume though. That shit is hard body. <laughs> the, I told you the no book sad. I was reading, um, How to Fail at Stand Up Comedy. Mm-hmm. That specific I can't even think of the the author of the book. He has been doing comedy for thirty years, mm-hmm. and he's not famous, but he can tell you all the shit that you're not supposed to do. Yeah, and that's that's a that's literally wisdom. That's knowledge. Come on now, like. And he may not be famous. I don't even know who it is, but I bet if he goes on tour right now, each show that he does probably sells out because he absolutely. probably has absolutely. just a market for his just for his niche for his comedy. That's cool. For his shit. Like that's me. I, I'm cool with selling out the Nova or like SOBs or something. Mm-hmm. Like I don't I don't gotta sell out Madison Square Garden. Mm-hmm. If I do, that's great. Like. Mm-hmm. That's a motherfucking accomplishment mm-hmm. that most people don't do. But, like, these people in the, in this small audience, they want it to be here. They're not just here because this shit might be the event of the, the, the night. They want it to be here. And these I'm motherfuckers a- took time. I'm, I'm, you go see Barris Hammond on a Wednesday, not a Friday. Come on now. <laughs> You're going to see him on a Wednesday. You seeing him on a Wednesday. Out. It's going to sell out every time. You're not going on. He's not coming Friday, Saturday night. Mm-mm. Nah, take off work. Mm-mm. Listen. Call in work late tomorrow because you gonna we gonna we gonna party tonight. So it's just it's, it's just level it's different. It is. I'm finding my tribe and that's the that's the path I'm on. That's it. Finding yeah. my tribe of comedians to market with, even people that work in mental health to market with. You know what I'm saying? And even with karaoke with shit like that, with a whole nother platform that I want to do. Like, yeah. I just haven't found my people yet. It's coming, but I'm gonna just stay on my path, keep my head on the swivel, and stay true to who I am. They gonna come to me. That's it. That's all it takes. So tell them where to find you at. Um, you can find me on Bookface, Facebook, what is it? Uh Thread, Instagram, Twitter, um, all of those platforms. YouTube also at Steph Funny Denise. S T E F U N N Y Denise. So Again, you shout out Moff. You ain't it. trying to be on love after lockup. Would no. you do that? No. I don't watch reality shows like that. I see I only see the clips, but I see the shit though. But you, Some you, of these joints that they be sharing pictures of in these in these women prisons. They be out like, there, I, don't they? They be bad, don't they? Because some of them niggas be fine, okay? <laughs> some of them niggas be fine as fuck, okay? I know it. Let me tell you why I don't watch certain shows like that. Because they give, a, they give like a fucking unauthentic version of love. Like my 600-pound life? What the fuck? How y'all got boyfriends and girlfriends? How y'all married? They really be, they be wiping and doo-doo out their butt. I'm talking about cr- crackheads be, be having yeah. relationships. But I'm out here living my dream and I can't find one man. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> are you aligning your tight with what you Oh, I don't want a relationship. Is. I don't want none yeah. of that. I don't, I wouldn't mind. This is going to, it's going to hurt a lot of feelings. I wouldn't mind being the side piece. I wouldn't mind it. It doesn't require a lot of work and I would keep your man happy and he could take care of both of us. And that is yeah. where I could be at. And I'm not promoting cheating. I'm not promoting none of that shit. I just know that I, <laughs> Stephanie Denise, don't have the time to be the main chick right yeah. now because my career has flourished and it's going to continue to prosper. And I don't got time. I can we can be side jakes. I can I'm, I'm having a different boyfriend in every good city I go to. And that's just it. When we together, we together. When we not, we not. I'ma shut up. Go ahead, say what you gotta say. No, nah, I'm gonna just say I that's that's cool. <laughs> I can't I don't I'm I wasn't raised to be Me too. Yeah. I wasn't raised to do I can't the say it on marriage. camera. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> marriage and all that shit? Oh I'm good on that. Plus, I don't think I'm nosy enough to be nobody's girlfriend in the first place. Like, I'm not finna. <sighs> yeah, I don't give a fuck enough. I don't. But not not in a bad way though. Not yeah. not give a fuck in a bad way. Like, yeah, man, I'm not I'm not about to do all this. My cutoff game is out of this world. <laughs> Impeccable. Yeah. Block all of that shit, and then I don't even have to do all that. Like, yo, niggas in the Saw movies don't cut shit off better than I do. Do you hear me? Okay. Do you hear me? <laughs> like, I'm saying. talking. About there was seven of them shit. I you get hear me? busy. Okay. Texas Chainsaw, nothing, yeah. none of that shit. Cause I'm not when I cut you off, I'm not gonna make a scene. You can still see me a little bit, like yeah. social media wise. Was it good enough? You can definitely see me a little bit. You, what is it good enough? Huh? If what's good enough? 
What you say? The conversation is good mm. enough. That, that, that yeah, doesn't yeah. start with a P. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't start with a P. Yeah. The conversation is good enough. I don't be having time here. People people be peeling like they ain't never peeled before. I'm glad I had <laughs> just brought that back because you was trying to see about the P's up here, nigga. People be peeling <laughs> wrong as fuck. And I'm not finna do people it. People dying that ain't never died people before. People are dying that have never died before. That's one thing I respected <laughs> that man about. He kept funky. All right. But yeah, man, we gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you. I appreciate this. Much love, much love, much love. I love you love. so I much. I'm you so proud. Of, thank you so much. I'm proud of you. I'm glad Definitely. I got here. I got to put a bra on now. I'm going to put these titties up. Okay? I was trying if to... you're going to the bar, you might as well keep them out. You might get Are a couple we, extra not, drinks. I don't know if I'm going to go. Yeah. It's Thursday. Right? It's Thursday. You what is there to do? do I... See, your work is different than my work. Like, niggas like us actually got to get up and like do shit. Like, oh, so you got to go? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to work tomorrow. And you got to go get the baby. A little bit. Nah, he good. You left. I'm not gonna talk about your parenting skills. <laughs> so look, I mean, are we gonna go? He can't get out the crib. Let me stop for people to really think that my like, I be leaving, <laughs> and he actually can get out. I'm pretty sure he can. He, that man, he's out here he's in these hell. streets. Don't do hell. that to him. He's in his. He's natural. He's a natural born boy child, and he gonna do what he want to motherfucking do. Okay? That's hell. Yeah, but it's cool. Like, Cause he's like. He's like the goofiest person I know, but also like the most temperamental person I know. I don't know where the fuck he get it from. Come on. Like he got a wild it. temper. I don't know where it come from. Cause he's a boy. He's a he was a light skinned boy. This shit different. He's a light skinned boy. This shit different. What he do? He be falling out, breaking his neck and shit. What now he, he don't doing? fall out. What he do? He look in your eyes when he say what the fuck he's saying. What he, he be don't, saying? He don't fall out. I I don't know what he mean that shit. <laughs> he looking you right in your motherfucking eyes. He not falling out. No, he, he gonna say? look you in your face. He fell out one time ever, and he hit his head. He never did that shit mm, again. He, okay, <laughs> he don't want to get hurt no more. That's but cool. he 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 want to get the point across. But you know that should have knocked the cool out your out, out your tantrum. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Now what did he say? Because you, you ready to fall out? And, oh shit! You know yeah, what? He, I got down. You know what? I'm all right. It's okay. I ain't got nothing to say. I can't even scream right now. But that <sighs> shit hurt a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I gotta think about this. So what did he say to so you? And do the face again. But hold on. But when he did used to fall out after that, he would like. Like, nigga, get the fuck up. Because he would put his arms down. To, so he, I, I cannot make this shit up. Kids be phony as fuck sometimes. Uh, he put his arms down because he 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 won't tap in that motherfucking <laughs> noggin again. So he puts his arms down to fall out. But now, no, nah, he, he going to stand on his feet. He going to look in your eyes and hit you with the... Who you think you talking to? That's what I would say. Every time. Off the rip. I'm going to show you. Who, the f- who is it? Who you think you're talking to, fam? He's talking to you. Ain't nobody scared of you, fam. He's not scared of you neither. Okay. That boy got a you know, he got a big back. I'm I can see it already. That's a big back. And that nigga's hands right. is like the size of this fucking ass. He's gonna crazy. be big, ain't he? He's gonna be like That's really what tall. They're how how, how tall they, he gonna be? They said that to me and I didn't I peaked. You out like, like six you said you like six feet? Yeah, six but that's that's not are you, tall. That's like normal. That's normal I don't think you're shit. six feet tall, man. I think you don't know how tall you are. I I'm too old to not know my, my fucking height, size, and weight. No, I don't think you know. I'm too old to not know my height size. You don't give six feet energy. I don't know what kind of energy. What the fuck am I supposed to be? <laughs> fuck what I got to go outside and dunk real quick? <laughs> like, what the fuck? The fuck is that? All right. All right, man. You might be six feet. I don't know. Maybe I'm not five four. Maybe I'm taller. You might be. You think I'm taller? It might be these I mean, boots. People, I got like, Doc Martens nah, on. People like, lie about height and shit? Like, that's that's a thing? I literally know a man that is that five. That ass? Like, Listen to I'm me. being serious. Like, I'm, people lie about, I'm like. I'm telling you, this man is five nine. When a group of women asked him how tall he was, he said he was six feet. And I literally stood there and was like, nigga, no, you're not. Like, you're not. We can see you not be six feet. Yeah. Why would you tell them that? We can see you not be six yeah, feet. But not. <laughs> that, it just be truthful. That's the end, of, that's the end yeah. of it. That's it. No, I didn't know. I really didn't know that was a thing. Men do it more than women, clearly. I yeah. think women want to be short, though. They want to be little. Yeah, because they, they tired of niggas saying that the Lakers need help and shit every time they post some Who, shit. Who, the like, men? Yeah, in the, oh, com- yeah. in the comments. Yeah. Like, bitch, what did you post in selfies for? The Lakers need help. Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> Y'all are trash.